Kim Johnson, how you doing today? Hello, hello. How's everybody? Hello, any and everybody that is in this chat. Welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. I couldn't be more excited to be here with you all today. I'm excited. Just said a good prayer. I just said a good prayer. My eye won't stop watering, but that's going to be under control here in just a second. You may see me blotting my eye from time to time. Y'all know about my crazy eyes. Always watering. Hello, Ron Wilson. Hello, Debbie Parker. Lonnie Gancha. I, I hope that's your name. <laughs> Lynette, Heidi Fuller, Alyssa Wooten, Anna Rodriguez, Brenda Willis. Hello. How, so how's everybody? How's everybody? Erka is here. Oh, those pork chops are right on the money. That's great. I forgot I had that uh, set to go out at uh, 3 p.m., that video. We did that video last night. <laughs> those pork chops were so good. Dakota, when he came home from school, first thing he did, wash his hands and grab some pork chops. <laughs> Hello, Virgo is here. Hazel's here. Corey's here. Derek Eads, Shirley Clark is here. Uh, M. Johnson says, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. How you doing, M. Johnson? Hello. Norma, hello. Janice, how are you? Uh, Lucina, Special K is here. Wanda McMorris, how you doing today? Valencia, Talisha, Joyce Sanders is here. Gail, Lonnie Love says, I love the glasses. Thank you. I'm Tony Higgins, hello. Tiffany, hello, Sherry and Saj. Saj, how you doing today? We're gonna have a great time. Zen God is here, hello. Tiffany is here, Rita's here. Paula Clark, hello, Edith. Tracy and Starlet, Lorenzo and Marcia. If I happen to miss your name, please forgive me. <laughs> Please forgive me, and if I miss one of your messages, just try, uh, you know, to message me back in hopes that I'll see the message, you know. Kalisha, how you doing? Margaret, hello, Marcel is here. Little bit. Oh, you changed your name back to Little Bit. What the heck? Hold on, Little Bit. Sonia, how you doing? Lynette, Sherry Hinton. Uh, little Bit, I thought you changed your name to... Um, Sonia will tell me. Come on, Sonia, hook me up. What did Little Bit change the name to? Ashton. Did you change your name back to Little Bit? <laughs> I, I'm confused. <laughs> Valencia, how you doing? To, to, tre, Tresca? Tresca Jackson? Tina, hello. Listen, how, yeah, Ashton. <laughs> M. Johnson is cracking up. I'm doing good, Gene. I hope all is well with you. All is good. I'm just trying to get this eye here to stop watering. I keep blotting it. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. Hey, with the good Lord on our side, that eye will stop watering, and I would, I'll, I'll forget all about it. Mary Graham, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, at, that's what it is, Sonia. Okay. Little bit says, I tried to get back to Ashton Bull because I can't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Denise. Let me ask you all a question. How many of you all are excited for tuna noodle casserole? When it comes, you're a new subscriber, Leticia. Leticia, welcome. Everybody, welcome Leticia to Jeannie Young's Live. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Welcome, welcome. My day is going great, little bit. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well. Shirley Clark says, I gave a thumbs up. Listen here, before we go any further, I need for you all during this live to make sure that the thumbs up, what, what, what do you got going on right now? I need for you all to make sure that um, the thumbs up are matching with the people that are in here. Currently, I see all 207 of you and hardly anybody has given a thumbs up. Let's make sure that the thumbs up are matching with the people that are in here, okay? 
We got 79 thumbs up, 223 of you in here. Okay, so when you to do the thumbs up, you're gonna need to back out of the live, give a thumbs up, and then come back in. Jean, how you doing? Ron Wilson, how are you? Inger, hello. Lorenzo, you just did my thumbs up. Okay, great. John, how you doing? Okay, this is great. All right, yes, let's bring the thumbs up up. How many of you all, I, I know I just said it, but I'm gonna repeat myself. Are you excited for tuna noodle casserole? You're having an issue, what you got? What's your issue, Ron? How is his finger? His fingers, it, it, ah, he might have to go back to the surgeon and get that piece that they had for his finger. We think that the piece, he took it off, we think it got thrown away and it cost a whole lot of money. He's gotta get another one. He's okay, but he is in a lot of pain. Thank you for asking. I haven't made tuna noodle casserole in so long. Well, listen, you're gonna make it today and it's gonna be delicious. It will not allow me, it will not allow me to accept the comment. What do you mean to accept the comment? When you say accept the comment, what, what do you mean? Do you mean to, to delete the comment? You love, Lonnie says, I love tuna noodle casserole. Tuna noodle casserole is actually something that I grew up on and it kind of tugs at my heart a little bit because we grew up eating it. And you know, this is an old school recipe. Like a comment, okay. Hide or show a comment, okay. Like a comment, hide or show a comment. Let me, let me see, let me see my computer. Okay, okay, Ron, one second. Let, 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 let's see, let's just see what we got going on here. Okay, Ron, and then we'll get up and get started. Let's see, I wanna go to where you and Sonya are. I'm excited to see you make tuna noodle casserole, okay? Okay. All right, so Ron says he can't do anything. I, I do wanna show you here, Ron. Hopefully you can see. Do you see where you and Sonya's name is? Um, let, me, let me show you. Right there, that's your face, and Sonya is right next to you, and you're the standard moderator. I am not sure what the heck is going on. Only thing that I can do and that I have control over is I can contact YouTube and let them know once again. Uh, no, they didn't. Let me see. Unless I may, uh, Ron, I may turn around, take you and Sonya off, right? Like completely take you off as moderators, right? But then put you back on and see if that kind of resets things. Okay, so so we'll give it a try, okay? I'm not gonna take you off right now, but we will give that a try. Okay. So, so that's the plan. We'll give it a try and see what happens, but hopefully we can get it fixed. Okay, let me go back to the live, and guess what, Jeannie Young's gonna jump up. I'm gonna get my apron on. Um, we're gonna cook tuna noodle casserole, Gina Young style. Sonia says okay. All right. You have to leave the video. Uh, you're meeting with friends. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah, Ron, absolutely. You can go off and then come back in if you like and then see. Mildred, how you doing? Sonia, tell me this. Um, Sonia, how is yours doing? Do you have options to do what you need to do? I'm curious. It does sound yummy, right? Mildred says, Gina, Gina. Mildred, how you doing today? Little bit, you actually can do. Okay, let me see. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do, what, what do you have going on here? Can you turn the live back on and, and set it over there? I'm doing okay, says Mildred. That is great. Listen, somebody, you're having no issues. Okay, you're having no issues. Okay, that's great, Sonia. Thank you for letting me know. And um, I, I'll definitely check on Ron's to see what's going on. I, you know what? This is so crazy because I think with them putting that new uh, moderation system in play, I think that is causing issues. Um, so hopefully we'll figure it out. All right. So some I had talked to somebody and they told me that they don't eat tuna, right? And I thought, oh, no. And they said, but they use the canned chicken breasts for tuna noodle casserole. I thought, that's brilliant. I never really thought of that. So if that person is here in the chat that told me that, um, share how you do it. But I do think it's a great idea. So if you don't like seafood, you don't like tuna, go ahead and use you some canned chicken for this recipe. Raymond, how you doing today? Tuna with some crackers is good. Yes, I got the crackers. I got the crackers on deck. Okay, so I'm gonna jump up, get my apron on here in just a second. It is, Heidi, it's a great idea. Serenity, how you doing today? Where the where's the dogs? Okay, there's the dogs, look at them. You see them? <laughs> Coming right, he know I'm talking about him. Look at him, <laughs> came right over here. Little stinker, now he's on my leg. What did somebody just say? Uh, sound is loud and clear, okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Marsha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been watching me for years and this is Valerie. I think you're awesome. Thanks for sharing your recipes. Thank you so much. All right. So, okay, so we got Ron back in. Ron, you let me know. Sonia's not having any problem as of right now, uh, but we'll get it together, okay? No, don't, I don't want you to worry. Uh, give me my microphone so I can put them on. Oh, no, nothing. He, he, he broke the tin that, he tore the tenant from here to here on his finger, and he's got some issues with that finger. He did go see a surgeon, and they told him what they want him to do before thinking about getting surgery, okay? So right now, they have him in a special type of brace in hopes that the tendon from here to here will mend together, that it will heal. So we'll just see. But he is in some pain. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Sonia said, Gina, there is an issue. Okay, Sonia, what's your issue? I'm new in the chat. Sandra, welcome in, everybody. Welcome, Sandra, to the chat. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. I'm putting the microphone in. Tracy Jones, hello. Tracy, welcome in. Valencia says, long time, my issue is the same as Ron's. Okay, okay, we're gonna get y'all together. All right, what do you have going on over there, Dakota? Huh? Okay. You can hear fine. Okay, I got this microphone going. Now, Sonia and Ron, let me see. Gina, I love tuna noodle casserole. Watching from Jamaica, Amy, welcome. Wow, all the way from Jamaica. My goodness, my goodness. Let's get to cooking, says Marcel. Okay, 
I'm about to get up right now. Wendy, how you doing? Let me grab my apron. First time on the chat, SOG family, hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. You said hello to the other Valencia. <laughs> okay. It, it gets a little confusing when there's two, two of the same name, right? <laughs> Let's bring the thumbs up up. Thank you, Lynette. Been watching and subscribed for years as well. The only hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. All right, let me grab my apron. <clears throat> you change that color a little bit. I'm gonna get my uh, frozen vegetables out. And I want to get my onion out, and then I'll flip the micro, the, I'll flip the camera over. That's fine. Go ahead, check check on the color a little bit. All right. Let me make sure I got my. Apron. Evelyn, welcome in. How you doing today? Watching from Maryland, and your name is Leticia. Thank you for coming in, Leticia. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day to each and every one of you. The bad gal, hello. From Delaware, hello. Peaceful, hello. I can use Rami's noodles. Absolutely, you can. Absolutely, you can. All right. If, <coughs> if it in, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> if at any time the lighting or the sound is kind of funny, Somebody out there let me know, and we can fix it. <clears throat> Put that over there, and we got to plug it in. Plug it in. All right, everybody, let's get started. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. And one thing you can go ahead and do is uh, start some water. Get some water boiling because the first thing we need to do is get some of our noodles boiling. So for the person that's making the rami noodles, you're going to do this recipe the same like we do. Your rami noodles will cook a little bit longer than ours will, okay? <coughs> Y'all see Dakota in the camera? <clears throat> you're not you're not cooking today, but you're here. Thank you, Rhonda. Dakota, say hi to everybody. They're looking right. They're looking right at you. All right, fix that lighting. <clears throat> I'm gonna wash my hands. I know everybody's freaking out right now, cause I'm coughing. All right, getting my hands nice and clean, just like so. <clears throat> So now Raymond had mentioned <clears throat> that crackers go well with this recipe. <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting crackers on top of the recipe. And then how we like to eat it here at the Young's House, 
We like to eat it with crackers and the crackers on the top. So it's amazing. <clears throat> Evelyn, it will not let me show your comment. <clears throat> Ron Wilson says hello to Dakota. Sonia says hello. Hey, Sonia. <laughs> Marcia, how you doing? A lot of people. It said, let's see, you says Ron, it says error. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I washed my hair today. And usually when I wash my hair and let it, air dry half of the way and then I diffuse it like the the other half of the way it, it kind of looks decent you know so thank you tell Mr. Young if he's in that he's in our prayers oh thank you so much thank you thank you so now I have t tell me tell me real quick before we get started are you cooking with me? Is there anybody in the chat that's cooking with Gina Young today? Uh, if you are, give me a red heart in the comment section so I can know who's cooking with me. I'm just curious. <clears throat> Thank you, Valencia. Oh, okay, so Sharni Bell says, I started to watch when you started to show your face on camera. Okay, <laughs> because there was a point in time where I was scared half to death to show my face on camera. And then I began to slowly sneak in there and show my face. <laughs> so thank you. I see some people that's going to cook with me. Okay, Corey, Heidi, and Hazel. I don't know if Daddy Hamlick is cooking with me. Denise, Lorenzo, Debbie, and Brenda. Okay, we're going to have fun. All right, so now, remember the first thing that I said, wash your hands, get some water boiling. I got some water boiling here. It hasn't come up to a boil yet, okay? What I wanna do right away is salt the water that we're gonna put our noodles in. When you salt your water, you give those noodles flavor. Even if you're making potatoes or you're making rice, salt the water and give it some flavor, okay? Every step of any recipe we do, we're giving it so much flavor. You hear me? It doesn't matter, even no matter what we're cooking. Season it, make it taste good. Shirley Clark says, I'm taking notes. Okay, Shirley Clark, welcome in one more time. <clears throat> My Holy King, how you doing? Seska, Seska, Maria. Loving the YouTube shorts lately. Thank you. I do have another one that I will be working on on Friday. <clears throat> um, I, I believe I told you all you would see it a little earlier, but we've been so bit we've been busy. Um, we've been getting tax paperwork, going to see the CPA, this and that. So it's been so many things that. And tomorrow we got to take the dogs to the vet. So we've just been so busy. But Friday I'm going to be working on a new. Um, short and it's gonna be another dancing short so that'll be fun for you all <laughs> all right so now water bring turn it up on high bring it up to a boil salt the water because we are cooking these noodles and you can cook them between 8 and 11 minutes these noodles don't take forever in a day to cook okay now, normally you all know that I cook my noodles for 11 minutes and they turn out perfect every time. You can cook these for about eight minutes and the reason why is because they're gonna go into the oven and they'll finish cooking, okay? So whether you decide to do eight or 11, that's fine. Just don't put them into the water until the water begins to boil, okay? <clears throat> Gina, I was look up one of your recipes. I got a message that said, Gina Young viewers, watch this channel. What do you think about this? Okay, great. Um, I get that message all the time. So um, they, they let you rate, you know, like how you like the video. And when you see that rate that, you know, if you're enjoying it or if you're not enjoying it, because it really makes a difference. When I see those, I always rate it. 
if I know the people that they're speaking of, you know. So now, any kind of crackers that you want to use for this recipe is fine. You could even use, now, <clears throat> my mom years ago when I was little, she used to use potato chips. She would crumble up potato chips on the top of that bad boy, and it was good. Yes, it was. I don't believe that my dad made this recipe. I believe when I had it, it was always my mom that made it. Latricia, looks like Latricia either is giving me a lot of love <laughs> or she's saying I'm cooking with you. <laughs> Carmen, how you doing? What about breadcrumbs? You could if you wanted to. Sure you can. I'm opening up my veggies, although I'm not using them yet. I'm just getting everything open. So I've opened up my cream of chicken or your cream of mushroom, whichever you decide it. Opening up my veggies. And I also want to open up my uh, tuna. You can use two cans or three cans, OK? When you open up your tuna, let's get it nice and drained. And then we're going to step in and chop up some onions, OK? Big Frank, how you doing? Got my can opener here. Why you do that, Dakota? You're going to have to plug that back in. <clears throat> okay, so I'm opening up my tuna. You gave me courage to start my own channel. Thank you. Okay, Yurina, your name is Serena Belly. Okay, that's great. That's great. One thing that I can tell you is upload often. You got to get the content out there. Upload often. Okay? Like, put content onto your channel. All right? And have fun doing it. If it feels like it's a job to you, then it's not for you. But if you're having a total blast, you're having a good time, you don't feel like you're working, then this, that might be for you. OK? Absolutely. I'm running on, let's see. I'm running out to get tuna. Be right back. I'm cooking with you. OK. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right, so I always like to purchase the tuna that comes um, with the oil in it. So I'm going to drain that oil. I love the tuna that has the oil. Stop, Prince. Don't do that. And then there's tuna, tuna that has the, that's inside of the water. I'm not a fan of that one because I feel like it's always dry. I do. I feel like it's dry. So I purchased the one that has the oil in it. I could actually pour this down the trash. That's where I'm going to put it. There we go. If you not... Let's see, Sonia says, okay, yep. If you have not, Sonia's message is saying if you haven't given a thumbs up, give a thumbs up. You're going to have to back out of the live and then come back in. What we're doing right now is we're draining our um, tuna. Okay, drain as much of the liquid off as you can. If you can't get it all off, don't worry about it. it it'll just make your casserole really nice and moist, okay? All right, perfect. All right, I'm going to set that aside. We're going to go ahead, get a sharp knife, and we're going to cut down into this onion. And really, you don't need a whole lot of onion. You don't need a lot of onion for this recipe. We don't want to overwhelm the situation with too much onion, OK? But you do want to be able to taste that onion, you know? So just enough, OK? I'm going to go ahead and put my noodles in because I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Oh, yeah. My water is boiling. Keep in mind that I salted the water. You like the water? Oh, you like the one with the water, the tuna with the water. OK. Ron says we need 75 thumbs up. OK, I'm putting my noodles in, everybody. Give them a nice stir. We're not going to cook them too long. 
All right, don't forget to soft them. Beautiful. Okay, is everybody with me? If you're with me, tell me you're with me and we can move on. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut up our onion. Uh, thank you, Inger. Inger, thank you for coming in and joining. Okay, Robin says, I'm with you. Please don't let the onion make you cry. Oh my goodness, a little bit. I hope not. I hope not, not today. All right, let's do it. I'm cutting just a little bit of onion. Please, Lord, not today. No, my eyes are already watery before we started the video. <laughs> I, I, I don't want... Oh, man, Dakota, see me going through it. I've been wiping my eyes for the past hour, trying to get them to stop watering before cutting the onions. So go figure that. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to use not even half of that onion. See that? I'm chopping this baby up real quick. I'm leaving y'all all behind with this onion. <laughs> I don't want it to make me cry. All right, here we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the onion right into my baking dish. Okay, this is a 12 by nine. You don't have to have a 12 by nine. You use whatever kind of baking dish that you have that can go into the oven, okay? I typically like to use the disposable baking dishes because you can just toss them when you're done. Or if you're taking it, you know, to somebody's house, then you can just leave it there and they can discard in a pan, you know, when they're done with the food, and you don't have to worry about getting your baking dish back. There's people out there that love to keep your baking dishes. <laughs> so that's why I prefer to use the disposable. And then I don't have to worry about saying, hey, you remember that baking dish I brought over there? <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. How can I cook with onions if I don't like the texture, but I love the taste. Well, let me make sure you're not allergic. Well, you can use onion powder. Onion powder. Onion powder. Or let's just say you're a person that doesn't want to do that. You could blend that um, onion up, or you could grate it and make it to where it's almost dissolvable. You know, but there, there's definitely a way around it if you don't like the texture. And I feel like for you, I feel like onion powder would do the trick. I really do. I'm going to put the rest of this onion in a little freezer bag so um, I can use it tomorrow for breakfast. Maybe make some fried potatoes or an omelet. Heidi Fuller, how you doing? Diana Lopez, blend the onion into sofrito. Absolutely you can. What temperature? What temperature for the oven? Thank you, Heidi. I'm going to go ahead and put it on 350 degrees. Okay, let's do that right now. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Uh, Miss Karen says, I love using those foil pans. VMC, hello, hi, Gina. Just tuning in, can I use chicken? Absolutely you can. When I first got on the live, I was telling you all that, what's that noise? I was telling you, what is that noise? It, it may be, I'm hearing something. <laughs> uh, it may be people um, ride the golf carts. It almost sounds as if somebody is beeping the horn to the golf cart out, out, outside. I don't know. But that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Gina, I want to make some pad thai. Gina Young style. Ooh, Virgo, guess what? I believe, don't quote me. Virgo, uh, look and see if I did a pad thai recipe. 
I feel like I made a Pad Thai recipe for you all already, maybe two years ago. Check and see and come back in and let me know. Pad Thai is something that I absolutely love. I feel like I have a recipe for it already. Oh, see, Little Bit says the onion taste is kind of spicy. There's people, there's a lot of people that just don't like the onions. And, and if you're that person, just completely leave it out, okay? So now, let's stir the noodles around real quick, just a quick stir. They're not done yet. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're getting ready to mix all of our mixture into this baking dish, okay? So if you're ready, just let me see one person say, Gina, we're ready to move on. Derek Eads, how you doing? I was watching some other cooking show, and they said not to cut the onion core until the end where the fumes comes from less onion fumes. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try it next time, Derek. I'll try it next time I go to cut an onion. And I know what you're talking about, the part that has like that little stuff at the end. I'll give it a try. All right. So now, we got onions in our pan. This recipe's easy, so really watch. We got vegetables. Take the whole frozen vegetable, put it right there. The whole bag. Now, my frozen vegetables has peas, carrots, corn, green beans, okay? Two cans of cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom, or you could use one of each. Cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. I'm using two cream of chickens, okay? We are going to use some butter and some milk as well. Look at that. This recipe is so simple. You hear me? Gina, we're ready to go on, says Rosa. Thank you. Barry White. Who's he calling Barry White? <laughs> All right, watch this. Two cans cream of chicken soup. Cream of mushrooms, fine. Cream of celery, fine. Okay, so now let's just mix the vegetables, the onions, and the cream soups in our pan. It all can be mixed in a pan. I mean, of course, you could do it in a bowl and then pour it into, into the pan. But if you don't want to dirty any dishes, just do it this way, okay? We got vegetables, we got onions, two cream of chicken soups, okay? Keep one of these because we're going to pour some milk in here, okay? So now what we can do, uh, you can use chicken or tuna. Yeah, all the french fried onions. It is a great idea for that. Um, go ahead and put your tuna in that we drained, two or three cans. Whatever you want to do. Okay, my family loves the tuna, so I'm going to do three. Okay, but two is just enough. Okay, that's why in my description I said if you want to use two, that's fine, or three. Okay, so look how everything is coming together so quickly. Right, like we could eat that just like that, right? <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. It smells good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it does. This is the perfect recipe to make for Wednesday or for any day, especially the weekends. Yes, it is. This is what I call old school. This is a, what, what's the word that I'm looking for? Hardy? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. What size can? That is a 12 ounce can of tuna. And you know, this is the regular uh, five ounce, 12 ounce tuna. But if you don't have those, just use the little ones, okay? Yeah. So come in and look at the mixture. And once we get the noodles in, we're going to thin out the mixture with milk. Okay, I want you all to grab some butter, and we're going to use about a half a stick of butter. Let's cut our butter up, okay, and put in some butter in here. You can melt it if you want. I'm just going to cut mines and throw it in there, okay? So let's grab our butter and grab out. You don't have to grab your milk out right now. Okay, let's check on our noodles. They're doing okay. We'll be taking, let me get um, a strainer. We'll be taking the noodles out very soon. What did I say I was coming over here to get? 
Oh, butter. <laughs> Half a stick of butter. The dogs are laying on the floor. They look like they're just really relaxing. They're laying on the carpet there in the living room. And they're wide awake. They're just laying there listening to everything that's going on. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do the butter. Is the internet okay? I see my internet. Let's see. Oh, there it is, comfort food. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany, Tiffany. Watch this. Just throw your butter in. Okay, doesn't matter if it's melted or if it's not because it will melt in this recipe. Okay, it's gonna make this recipe nice and rich. I wanna need that fan on and I need to get some orange juice because my sugar is dropping. Uh, my sugar's dropping right now and I feel like I'm underwater. Not really, but you know, I just don't feel right. I I'm pretty sure I need something to eat, a little bit of sugar and then literally as soon as I drink the orange juice, my sugar will raise up. Let's go ahead and drink a whole cup real quick. Okay, after I'm done with this cup, what we're going to do, even for the person that's using the ramen noodles, we're going to go ahead and drain those noodles in a colander. All right, some people say strainer. Drain it all, and then we're going to pour our noodles into this mixture here, okay? You don't want to put too many noodles into the mixture. Too many noodles will dry out your casserole, okay? So I'm going to show you about how much I'm going to use, okay? All right. Okay, was this monetized? This uh, live, you sure? Okay, Gina, one of my, let's see, handing Gina one of my payday bars. Oh, okay, you're handing me one of your payday bars. You, I love a good payday. Dakota, turn the fan on. Said, can, you put the gravy from the can you put the gravy from the smothered pork chops in here? I wouldn't, um, but... You can grab some frozen hamburgers or make up some hamburger patties. Use that extra gravy that was left over. Absolutely, but not for here. So you're trying to pull my leg. Mm. Okay. All I need is the fan and the orange juice. My sugar will come up in about two minutes. Believe it or not, I'm almost 50 and never made tuna noodle casserole. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm making this tonight. Denise, absolutely, you will love this recipe. Look, look how quick it is. Gina, what kind of tuna are you using? What's the name on the can? Um, Star Kissed. But sometimes I buy the one that says Chicken of the Sea. Sometimes I just buy um, like the store name brand. Me personally, I feel like all of the tunas are, are good. I just go by the price of the tuna. So I, we must have felt like that was a good price and we purchased it, but any of the tunas, okay? I'm doing okay, my holy king. How are you today? All right, let's go ahead and drain our noodles, okay? And then we're gonna come back, put the noodles in here, and now, Remember in the description, I told you all um, that if you wanted to use some white American cheese or yellow American cheese, you can throw it in there. It's going to make it nice and creamy and dreamy. Huh? Scroll down for what? To see what? Oh, the ingredients? Okay. Yeah, there is Terrell. Terrell says there's a bumblebee tuna. Terrell, how you doing today? Oh, yeah. Serenity says you could use the gravy um, f 
for grits for breakfast. You sure can. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna, this is the last time I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna go ahead and drain these noodles, okay? Get them nice and drained, all right? I'm gonna rinse my noodles off. You don't have to rinse yours. I like to rinse mine in cold water so I can handle them. When I have noodles, I like to pick them up with my hand, okay? And because sometimes noodles can be kind of slippery and hard to ha uh, handle with a utensil. So I grab them by my hand and I put the desired amount in, okay? Oh, you said you was able. Okay, yeah, y'all keep me updated and I just promise and assuring you all that I'm gonna get the issue fixed or hopefully YouTube can fix it, okay? All right, so check me out. I got my noodles. Uh, I do suggest that maybe you can, see I like to pick mine up this way, okay? And take my rings off, see this? It, they're easier to handle, and, but, but see this way, they'll, they'll slip off and you can't grab a lot, okay? But mine's, mine's didn't get all the way cooled. <laughs> all right, once we get some noodles in here, start off with a little bit, okay? Let's start off, see I still have some in here, okay? Let's mix them. After we get our noodles mixed in, it's the perfect time if you wanted to put some cheese in, throw you some cheese in there, you hear me? We're gonna be grabbing milk out soon because we don't want this to be thick, okay? And we're gonna season it up real good and top it off with crackers. This recipe is mind blowing, do you hear me? Like, trust me, you're gonna need some foil too. Trust me when I tell you that this is mind blowing, especially how cheap it is how quick it is to make, and the flavor is mm, mm, mm. Make you want to smack somebody. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Got the noodles mixed in. I can use a little bit more noodles. Yeah. So now I just got a teeny tiny bit of noodles left in there. All right, this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and season it, okay? Season it up good. Ooh, my husband's gonna be so happy. He loves this recipe. All right, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Don't be afraid to season. You don't have to use a lot of salt, okay? This is garlic and onion powder, okay? Salt and pepper. Some of you, you don't have to use salt if you don't want to. Keep in mind that the cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup has salt in it already. I'm gonna grind some pepper today because I need to purchase the ground up pepper. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we got our seasonings in there. Let's mix it and then we're gonna go for if you decide you wanna use cheese, you're gonna grab cheese and you're gonna get some milk, okay? Now, Gina, how much milk am I gonna put in? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how much I put in, okay? And when I show you how much I put in and what consistency you want this to look like, it's gonna help you to really understand how much you're gonna need, okay? Because we're not trying to make this too loose. We just don't want it to be like plaster, okay? Thank you, Eula. Oh, Derek. Derek says, can you use sardines with this recipe? Derek, you know what? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know if he's, if he's tricking me or not. I'm pretty sure you could, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't use sardines for this recipe. Derek's pulling my leg. I know he is. <laughs> All right, grab your milk. and grab American cheese or your favorite cheese if you like. I gotta wipe this down real quick. I got a little bit of salt on my stove. I wanna wipe it down. Make sure I'm keeping everything around me nice and clean at all times. 
Okay? He's joking, see? Oh, so uh, Annette, Annette says um, you can mix chicken and tuna and make a chicken tuna casserole. You bet you can. Okay, so let's start off with the half a can. Always start off with the little bit. When you start off with the little bit, you can't go wrong, okay? Get that in there. Let's stir it around and look at the consistency, okay? That half a can just might do the trick, and I believe so. Oh, yeah. That half a can's gonna work. If you want yours a little, this was a little over a half a can. If you want yours a little bit more looser, put a little bit more milk in, okay? I'm really happy with this consistency. Now, bring the camera in real close so everybody can see. Okay, can y'all see the consistency? Not too thick, not too thin. It's gonna cook up just perfect, okay? That's what we're looking for, all right? So now, I decided, let me put my milk up first, okay? Hold on guys, one, one second also. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and put cheese in mine. So since I'm gonna put cheese in mine, if you wanna put cheese in yours, go ahead. But then again, if you don't want to, you ain't got to, okay? All right, back. I'm just breaking the yellow American cheese into the casserole. It's gonna make it creamy, gonna give it that cheesy consistency. Make them say, ooh, mommy. <laughs> yes, make them say, ooh, mommy. Where'd she get this recipe from? You're gonna tell them, Jeannie Young. Jeannie Young showed me how. Yes, you are. I know you are. Shirley Clark says, Ron is funny. <laughs> what is Ron doing today? Remember the other day he said, uh, I said, I said, welcome all the new people. He said, Gina, I'm new. <laughs> I thought, what the heck? He ain't new, y'all. <laughs> yeah, cheese, uh, uh, cheese. I was getting ready to say, yes, cheese would be good in this. He said cheese would be good in ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but I will tell you this, though, on a serious note. So my dad, of course, he, li he likes, um, what? He likes uh, cherry cordial ice cream that has the cherries in it, right? And then he would take the pretzel rods, the salted pretzel rods. They're about this long. That's how he ate his ice cream. And we would try it when we was little, and it is just the most amazing taste ever. To put a salted pretzel in your ice cream, and it's delicious. All right, see how I'm just folding that cheese in there? Put as little or as much cheese as you want in there, okay? Just like so. Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. Gina going to make some mouths water tonight. All right, so now we can push the cheese down in there. Kind of spread your mixture, making sure your oven is on 350. Get some aluminum foil out. All right, go ahead and grab crackers. Crackers, crackers, because we're going to crack some crackers on top of here. But I tell you what, how about we don't put the crackers on just now? Let's go ahead and cover this with foil. When it's almost done, We'll take it out, we'll crack some crackers on top, and then we'll let the crackers get crispy and golden brown. Okay, so for now, we're going to cover it, let's throw it in the oven, and then guess what Jeannie Young is gonna do? Well, if you all don't mind, I'm gonna come around and we're gonna chit chat while this goes into the oven. Okay, you're using potato chips, yep, yep, Heidi. Oh yes. Yes, Heidi, because um, remember I told you, uh, I believe that's what my mom used to do. She did um, the potato chips, and it was always delicious. 
All right, so this is going in my oven right now. And like the last 10 minutes of the cooking process, we'll take that foil off. After the foil comes off, um, we'll crack some crackers on, throw it back in for 10 more minutes, and dinner is served. How quick, how simple, how much fun for a great recipe. Ron and Derek, you guys got some wild appetite. Yes, they do. Looks good. I could eat it cold. Oh, Derek, yes. Oh, so you might be like me, Derek. I, there's a lot of foods that I can eat cold. Like I can eat spaghetti and lasagna cold. I can eat pizza and chicken cold. I feel like I could eat this cold too. You know, just a little bit out the pan, you know. All right, get your areas nice and clean, and then Jeannie Young's going to come around. We can chit-chat for a bit. Okay, cleaning up my area. If you need to put your dishes in some hot, soapy water, go ahead and do that. It's really going to help you in the long run, because when you get ready to do dishes, you really don't have to do much but wipe it off, you know? All right, let me put this cheese away. Your food should be in the refrigerator. All right, I'm coming around and we can chit chat and talk for a while. All right, let me fix this lighting over here. It's really good. I know he, he's pulling our leg about something. I know he is. I know he is. No joke. Uh, he's joking. You can assure that he's joking about something. Nearly, you said, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Besides my eye keep watering. Look at that. I'm doing great. <laughs> I like cold roll. Oh, I do too. I like cold rotisserie chicken. You prefer hot ice cream. Get out of here. I know you lying. I know you lying. <laughs> Alyssa says, or, or this is Alice, said too funny. Oh, no, Gina, drink. Let me see. Something quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you said you know exactly what I mean. Oh, I did. I drank um, some orange juice. Eula has a question. Eula, what's your question? What is Eula's question? Or did I miss it? Eula, you can say your question again, and please can you make um, snack bars? Antoinette, is that your name? Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make some lemon snack bars. So maybe I can do that for you. Show you how to make some really quick and simple delicious snack bars. Hey, let's put um, a uh, let's put a timer on for 35 minutes for the food. Oh, thank you. It is um, what's your name? Let me see what your name is. Uh, Super. I, I don't know what your name is. Thank you. Um, it's it's uh, Studio Fix by Mac. Studio Fix by Mac, and it's NC45. NC45. Okay, so that's what it is. It'll be ready at 638. Okay, so we'll take it out at 638. Take the foil off. Crumble the crackers or your potato chips on top, and then throw it back in for 10 more minutes, and dinner is served. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm giving y'all a great recipe today. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me try to fix this camera a little bit. To the new viewers, uh, <laughs> Sonia says, to the new viewers, pay us no mind. We joke and have a lot of fun on Jenny Young's Live. <laughs> Southern Belle says, what did I miss? Oh, you didn't miss too. Well, you missed the whole recipe. <laughs> but I tell you what, you can always go back and rewind it. You can go back and rewind it. You can go back and watch the replay. So what we've done is we've cooked tuna noodle casserole. The recipe is so easy to make. It was a lot of fun, and it's in the oven already. It's in the oven already. Yes, on Saturday, we're doing chicken pot pie. So that's going to be exciting, right? So everybody know, tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world, Jeannie Young's going to show you all how to make chicken pot pie. And I'm going to post the ingredients uh, tomorrow. So I can give everybody some time to get their ingredients, okay? Yes, we are. We're making chicken pot pie on Saturday. Chocolate cereal bars. That really sounds good. Yes, it does. I haven't made brownies in a while. It, it's funny because I made brownies the other day here at the Young's house. They were box brownies. And they were good. And guess what I did? I put cinnamon in them, and they were so good. Hold on, guys. I'm blowing my nose. You can always go back and rewind. Thank you. I want to make some brownies. I'm craving them. Brownies, listen, there's nothing like a good brownie good brownie that's crispy. You know, I like the outside piece. The outside piece is crispy and it's like buttery. It's just, oh my goodness. Sometimes, I'll have to say, sometimes I'll take a brownie over a nice slice of cake. Anybody else like that? Would you take a brownie over a nice slice of cake? Be honest. Ooh, Saad says, but brownies and vanilla ice cream? Listen here. Mildred, how you doing today? How's those, uh, grand, your grand puppy and the kitty cat doing? Oh, you love cake. Zadi says, no, I like cake. Warm brownies with ice cream? Woo! Oh, yes. I think it was Alyssa. See, I like the brownies that are chewy. Uh-oh. Faith says with apple pie. See, now, if you throw apple pie in there, that's where I get really all excited. Joanne, how you doing? Hello. Uh, Corey says, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that's how they worded it. Brownie straight out of the oven. See, I like mine to cool down because I like that crispy edge. You know, Drew Moss, how you doing? Ooh, Drew Moss says, I like the ooey gooey brownies. Those are delicious. Those ooey gooey brownies are so delicious. Mildred says, Gina, I'm trying to train the puppy to not poop on my carpet. Okay. So what you're gonna do, Mildred, is, um, if you don't mind, a little bit of my advice. Uh, and, and, and just see if it works. Get you some pee pads, the puppy pee pads. Okay? And they just look like a little blue pad that has white on it, on the top. And believe it or not, it has, like, the human can't smell the scent that, that they put inside of the pee pad. But they put a urine smell or some type of smell, uh, that the puppy will want to go over there and, and use the bathroom on the pee pad, okay? Because they like to go back to where they've went before. So when you put that pad down, you keep it always there in the same spot, okay? Um, so wherever you put it, 
Always put it in the same spot, right? The dog will, or, or here, here's the thing. L let me show you this. Let me do this. I'm going to use this. If this is the puppy's face and this is his tail, when the puppy has to use the bathroom, he'll do this. And you'll think, what the heck is he doing? He turned around in circles. He's doing this. He's doing this. He's turning around. You pick his little butt up and you take him to the pee pad. He will smell the pee pad and want to go there. When he goes there or anywhere around it, if, even if he tries to pee on it, you tell him, yes, good boy or good girl, whatever. And then when you see him turning again, sniffing, turning around just like this, just like my brush is doing, it's time to pick him up and take him over there. Okay, because they'll let you know when they got to go because they, they don't know what to do. They're like, okay. And then they just go in circles to find that spot. So as soon as y'all see that, pick him up, put him on the pee pad, he'll go. Okay, keep that pee there. <laughs> Don't change it. Don't change that pee pad until he pees on it like three times. And then he'll start learning to go there. And then eventually you can train him to go outside. Okay, so for now, let's, let's test him peeing in the inside of the house, you know. Yours is working now. What? What's working? Ron, are you saying that your moderation is working now? Okay, we brought the pee pad and he pee on the pad. But when he wants to poop, he'll do it on the carpet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just listen. If you see him, or y'all just have to watch him 24-7. If you see him getting ready to do like that, you know, hunt over like that, like he wants to go, pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up by the back of his neck if he's already trying to go. Like right here. Just going to pick him up like that. Take him right over to it so he goes onto the pad. Okay, so as soon as you see him do like that, pick him up and put him on it. He'll get the idea. Yes. Tell Mr. Young hello. Eula, I will. Could you use water instead of milk? Absolutely you can. You can use water. Um... Yeah, you can use the water. That's, that's not a problem. The water, the milk just makes it, um, you know, extra creamier, extra more rich. But the water will do the trick as well. Because basically what we're trying to do is loosen it up a little bit so that it's not so thick. So Drew Moss says, how did the dish turn out, Gina? I'm late. Well, um, Drew, how you doing, first of all? Um, the dish, we, we haven't ate it yet. So the dish is actually in the oven. It's cooking. It was really quick to make. I, I know. Normally, if you would come in a little late. Okay, Gina, the block is not working, but show and hide is working. Okay, we'll get it together. We'll get it together. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, so Ron says, thank you, mine too. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure they're working on it. Oh, and guess what? So I, I think a lot, I, like I, I use something called a Tube Buddy. Yeah, I don't know if you know about it, but Tube Buddy, they, um, they're having an issue too. They said that they have some type of bug in their, um, whatever it is that we use. But they said they're working on fixing that. So I just think once everybody fixes everything, everything's going to work again. But, but I'll stay on it. Let's see, Saad says, Lord, these pork skins is trying me. Ooh, you eating on pork skins? Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you have uh, hot sauce for your pork skins? Do you have hot sauce for your pork skins? Almond milk is fine. Almond milk is fine. It wouldn't alter the, fla the flavor. It would still be delicious. Oh, what I was saying to Drew is, normally if you would come in a little late, Jeannie Young would still be cooking. But since this was a quick, simple recipe, it's in the oven already. Hot sauce, yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no timeout tonight. 
let's see, not in brownies. Let's see. No, I don't, Gina. Oh, the barbecue ones with the little kick to them. Okay. Oh, Derek says he loves pork skins. Oh, he said they're high in sodium. Yeah, because it's pork. Yeah, but they're delicious though, right? They are delicious. Gina, my grand kitten with her little bit self. She chasing the puppy and the puppy just run. Oh, that's so cute. They are high in salt, absolutely, but they taste so good, right? Yes, they do. Is Raymond still in here? Raymond, how you doing today? I was going to put a hat on today, but I just, oh, it's still got the tag on it. My goodness. I was going to put this hat on, but I just, sometimes when I'm cooking, certain hats. Oh, there you are. Okay, I see you. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I just get really hot in the kitchen. Thanks, my holy king. Oh, I can't get the tag off. My goodness. No, <laughs> don't start that, Drew. You fancy, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's just a hat. It's just a nice hat. Let's see. I don't want to mess my hair up. If I wore it, I was going to wear it like that. <laughs> uh-uh. Ain't no way. I ain't getting on here singing. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. <laughs> I'm doing okay, Natalie. Thank you for coming in and joining us. But I got the tag. Is the tag hanging out the back? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't start that, Ron Wilson. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Thank you, Alyssa. Joyce H. Is that Joyce Humphrey? Or is that Joyce H.? Did you change your name? <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> oh, bro brownie cookies. Now, brownie cookies actually sound really good. <laughs> brownie cookies sound delicious. All you need is a microphone to sing us a song. That reminds me to take this microphone off. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> now you can hear me better. Come, come plug this microphone up for me. <laughs> no, I'm not going nowhere today. This is the outfit my husband picked out for me. He said, I said, can you help me find something to wear? And he picked this shirt and this hat out. And he said, you can wear this. He said, what kind, what kind of pants you wearing? I said, I'm just wearing regular blue jeans. So this is what he picked out for me. <laughs> Dakota, thank you, Rosa. Natalie says, what are you up to? I'm not up to too much. We're just making some um, tuna noodle casserole. And it's basically already cooked. It's in the oven and it's not gonna cook for a long time. We're gonna be taking it out. And when we take it out, we're gonna put um, crackers or potato chips on top, let it cook for another 10 minutes and, and dinner served. That's right, leave the tag on it. <laughs> as long as the tag doesn't hang. Listen, okay, here's the thing. Thank you, Ron. 60 more minutes. Here's the thing. As long as, and y'all have to tell me, when I turn around with my back towards the camera, somebody better tell me if that tag is hanging out the, if it's hanging out the hat. Say, Gina, your tag is hanging out the hat. And I'll tuck it back in. I couldn't pull it out. Has your dad been able, my dad was able to get the money back from his bank. You will tell me. Thank you, Ron. <coughs> <coughs> my dad was able to get the money back. 
which is great. You know, and that's, thank you, Sonia. Yes, M. Johnson, that is absolutely amazing news. Here's the thing. If you have a great bank, they will do that for you. You know, they'll see and find the issue, and then you have that protection behind you where they will take care of the situation. They were able to take care of the situation. Uh-huh, so yeah, that is great news, right? Absolutely. Let's see, where'd my messages go? All the messages are gone. It is, M. Johnson, great news. <clears throat> here for 75 minutes. I'm not seeing any, let's see, I'm not seeing any comments. Okay, there you go. Susie Q. Yes, Susie, Susie Q, you have to. You know, and here's the thing, just do it every day. You know, if it's not time consuming and there's a way, you can do it quickly. <clears throat> just check at a certain point of the day every day. Just to check in on it, because you never know. There's always somebody out there trying to get somebody, trying to scam somebody, and I ain't for it. We check our we check our account all the time, all the time. We do, we do. <clears throat> Derek says I check mine two, three times a day. You have to. You do. You absolutely have to. Where did my, okay, here it is. Mildred says, me too. <clears throat> See, isn't that something, Miss Karen? Isn't that something? <clears throat> Even if you have, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mm hmm Valerie, they are. Yes, they are. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that they took care of my dad and, you know, there's no more issue. So that, <clears throat> so my dad knows, you know, how to be careful and go inside of the bank when he wants to use the ATM and things like that. Because using the ATM outside anymore, uh-uh, it ain't safe. Using it at the gas station, it ain't safe. Know what's safe and what's good for you. You know, so you can protect your assets. Absolutely. <laughs> I know, I should cook with my dad, right? I totally should. And I think, listen, I think, oh yeah, the filtration system is um, all together. We got a whole new filtration system here. And Derek, if you watch my video, you would totally uh, be interested in my story about this new filtration system that we have. Now, when it comes to uh, doing a cooking video with my dad, I think it would be absolutely hilarious. I, I think it would be fun. Let's see, Ron, great news. Congratulations. Okay, let me see. What is Ron saying? Let's see. Oh, yes, Ron. That is absolutely amazing. Look how God works. Look how God works. God is absolutely amazing. So thank you, Lord, for blessing Ron and Kathy in Jesus Christ's name. Just thank you ahead of time. Thank you, Lord. What a blessing. Yes. Okay, that's great news. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, come on. He said brownies with sardines. Uh-uh, uh-uh. But, but I do. Um, oh, you want me to make some Jamaican jerk oxtails, mac and cheese, and fried cabbage. Mm. We're having Caribbean food 
on, the, the guy told us, it, it's a food truck. And the gentleman told us he, he would be back on Friday and Saturday. So we're having Jamaican food and we're having jerk chicken, uh, cabbage, and I don't know what else is going to come with it, but I'm excited. I know, Sonia, absolutely. <clears throat> oh, the pretzels and brownies would be good. It would. Oh, so let's get back to it. I think if I did a video with my dad, it would be so much fun. I really do. I think y'all would totally love it. I don't know. I feel like it would be hilarious for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it would be fun. But to think about that <clears throat> is I don't live where he lives anymore. So, you know, that's, that's the difficult part. You know, because I don't, I don't stay where he's at, where he lives anymore. Oh, okay, let me fix this. I need to, hold on, put this on the charger. I need, hold on. I need my charger. Yes, Sonia, absolutely. Let, let's, oh, you would love it with my dad. Yeah, yeah. And my dad. My dad is in his 70s, and he looks absolutely amazing for his age. He does. I'm plugging up the camera. Plug it up, plug it up. <clears throat> it would be fun. Bringing your dad would be awesome. Uh, so, so, we'll see, we'll see. I hate when I say something and then I don't follow through with it. Turn that light out of my, um, my dad is doing fine. Um, that, that, that would be a nice, you said do that for my million uh, subscriber. Okay, I think that would be nice. Now, I thought you all had told me y'all wanted me to, to skate in my living room and have a party. Remember y'all told me that? You did, you told me. Y'all said, Gina, we want you to get on skates on that wood floor in your house and skate and have a party. I said, we're going to have a big party. Now you want, okay, so now you want me to do a video with my dad for my million. I don't know which one y'all want. <laughs> skate party with dad. <laughs> okay, Karen. <laughs> both. <laughs> Ron says both. <laughs> That would be nuts. Okay, so, so let me tell you this. That'll bring back this. Ron, remind me of the time, okay? So, so uh, let's talk about this. So my dad, because we're talking about skating, not, I just have to, uh oh, hold on, hold on. The, the charger is not working. Okay, so let's talk about this. My dad, when I was growing up, my dad was one of those skaters that would have the, um, the little towel, like the hand towel in his back pocket. I, I'm so serious. I am so, I wish my dad was right here right now so he could tell you, yeah, that was me. My dad could skate like nobody's business. You hear me? Like, listen, when I tell you this, my dad, he would be skating. My dad has had so much rhythm, he would be skating. Remember, my dad's from Philly. He would be skating, and he would have a, this is him. He would have a trail of people following him, following his every move. So if this is my dad skating, everybody would be following behind my dad skating. And I have a brother. I have a brother named Curtis. And Curtis can skate just like my dad. And they would, listen, they would be zooming through the skating rink like this. I, I'm talking about uh, with, with their towel in their hand, just woom, woom. People following behind them. And it was just so much fun to watch when I was younger. And I always tell my husband, I would have loved 
for him to see my dad skate the way he did when I was little. It's funny because I feel like, I don't know. My dad does have soul, my holy king. I feel like, I don't know if my husband, hold on, I'm, I'm losing. I'm gonna fix this real quick or I'm gonna lose connection with y'all. My cord isn't working. Dakota, come here. <laughs> This, this charger's not working. I need another one. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Before I lose everybody on here. I, I don't have one in there. Go get your dad's in the basement. Oh, I feel like, I don't know. I, there's a part of me that thinks that my husband believes me when I talk about my dad on skates. But then there's a little part of me that wishes my husband could have seen it because you would almost have to believe it i see it to believe it the way i talk about how my dad used to skate so it would be funny for me to have a skating party in the house in the house on these wood floors with my dad i don't know if my dad could still skate because he like i said he's in his 70s <laughs> hurry up let me see all right we're gonna fix this charger hold on Hurry. Okay. Hope, how can, can I see if this is charged while I'm on here? How? Pull it down. Will it turn the live off? Here, you do it. One second, guys. You said that would be awesome? Oh, no. no. It doesn't say. Okay. See, what happened? Okay. All right. I can't tell if... Uh, I, I'm hoping this don't, I don't know if this camera is being charged right now. He just grabbed me a second charger, but we'll see. Okay, oh, Mildred says, Gina, I know your dad can still skate. Okay, I wonder if he can. I wonder if he can. Now, I can remember when I was younger, my dad would take us skating, and I would come back with a big water blister about this big. On the bottom of my feet, my dad would say, that's because you didn't wear two pairs of uh, socks. I wear two pairs of socks, and I still come home with those water blisters. Oh, on the bottom of my feet. Oh, it hurt so bad. Thank you, Stephanie. Seven more minutes, okay? So now, at the seven-minute mark, what's going to happen? Skating. If your legs are still good, he should be fine. I, 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 I don't know. I just don't know. I'll have to ask him. No, my dad didn't break dance. But he did wear, let me see, 638? Okay. But he did wear the, I got pictures of my dad. He, got, he wore the butterfly collars, bell bottoms. My dad had a big afro. Oh, man, yes. <laughs> you laughing? He did. He wore the butterfly collars. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't super. I, I don't know how to say your name. It says sounds like your dad. Yes. Yep, old school and, and such a great dad. Y'all see, I always smile when I talk about my dad. You did, Ron, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all, let's see, the dogs are fighting or they're playing, but they may hear that I'm talking about them and stop, let me see. You see them? They're playing. They're not fighting. But they having a good time, ain't they? <laughs> they so cute, ain't they? They are so cute. Your <laughs> idea, you said my hair was like a Brillo pad. <laughs> 
You said your hair was like a Brillo pad. <laughs> Ron, oh man, you are a mess. They are cute, thank you. I don't know, Drew. Cute puppies, thank you. So, here in a minute. Oh, you had to pay to straighten it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, looks like my charger is working for this camera. We are going to take the foil off of the food, okay? Once we take it off, we're gonna wash our hands, we're gonna crumble up some crackers or potato chips, and then we're gonna put it on top of our casserole, throw it back into the oven for just about 10 to 12 minutes, and then dinner is served, okay? Three minutes left, says Ron. Be good now. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry curls. Jerry curls will never come back. Oh my goodness. It's so funny because What's up, Gina? I've been watching your channel. Your name is John. For about 3 years, but I don't know if it's the food or the prayer that I love. Maybe both. I, I it may be both. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining us, John. Welcome in. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at my holy king. <laughs> Two more minutes. Okay, this is great. Puppies are still back there playing. And I tell you what, the weather is beginning to finally break just a little bit. I mean, it's still cold out there, but it's sunny and it's not freezing out. The dogs are just totally loving it outside. It's like once they get out there now, they don't want to come in. It could be six in the morning, and I'm like, I'm like, get in here, <laughs> get, get in here, <laughs> and they just loving it out there. When it gets really hot out, they'll use the bathroom and then they'll go hide under the table, <laughs> or they'll run straight in the house because they don't like the heat. You convinced me to try sazon. And I love it. Okay, that's great. Okay. So T. Smith says, the Jerry Curl. <laughs> Use peroxide. Is it right? Oh, my goodness. All right, so it's time. The time has come. Y'all make sure that tag isn't hanging, Ron. You're going to get me if that tag is hanging. Okay. That I think about getting another dog. I told my husband I want another one. I told him when we get another one, I want it to be this big just like they were, and I want it to be the same type of dog. So at some point, I will get another dog and it's gonna be that kind. Um, let's go ahead, wash your hands, take um, the pan out of the oven, take the foil off, crumble up potato chips or um, your crackers, put it on top and throw it back into the oven. Okay, can I get a cameraman, please? You had a pick in the back of your head. They say, they said, did you leave the pick in the back of your head? <laughs> let me see the tag. Okay, no, when I turn around, you'll see if it's back there. And you let me know. <laughs> I don't feel it, but you let me know. Can I get the cameraman, please? Okay, let me fix this. Huh? You said what? What did you say? Watching the time. What are you talking about? Dakota, you need to chill out, okay? How about Rice Krispies? Okay, let's flip this camera. All right, there we go. 
Let's go to the oven. I'm going to take this out the oven, okay? And uh, keep your oven on. Now, I don't have the microphone on, okay? So I'm just going to talk a little bit louder because um, I can't plug my microphone in right now. Oh, yeah. Marcia says, thanks for the advice. You're very welcome. All right, I'm washing my hands. You're gonna get to see what this looks like. And your house, when you open up this foil, your house is gonna smell absolutely amazing. Go ahead and turn that fan off, okay? And then you can show a picture down. dog Bertle. I don't know if they're talking about me or not. Take a look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh-huh. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Come in close so they can see. Oh, he said turn around. <laughs> okay, I've turned around so you can see. Is it there? I want some tuna noodle casserole. You hear me? Oh, I hear you. You better make it some. Absolutely. Okay, so John Moore says, I'm speaking a cooking show into existence in Jesus' name. Okay. Just make sure if you decide to do it, John. Hold on. If you decide to do it, you be prepared. I'm going to put these crackers into a freezer bag. I'm going to bang the daylights out of them to get them nice and crumbled. Or you can just take them in your hands and boom, boom, boom. Okay? Uh, John, if you decide to do it, you be prepared to upload often. Okay? You got to be prepared to upload often on your channel. All right? Because people want that content. They don't want to look on there and they see nothing. You know what I mean? So, make time. There's a way to make time. So what I'm doing right now is banging up the crackers, just like so. You don't have to turn them into dust, but that right there, that's good enough. And guess what? If this isn't enough, I'm gonna put some more on top, okay? So we'll see how much this one sleeve is. Uh, John, what I did when I started my channel, I was working at a hospital. And uh, I would get off of work at like 5.30 in the evening, get home about 6.15. I was cooking dinner anyways, you know. So when I was cooking dinner, I would come home, throw work, whatever I was cooking, it was getting recorded. You know, so even though I worked a full day, eight hours, whatever I cooked for dinner was getting recorded. I started off using an iPhone and I put it on the tripod right beside me like this. So this is the phone, this is the tripod, and I would record everything that I did. You didn't see me in the camera, but it worked. And eventually we could, you know, do, do different things. And then on my days off, I recorded two videos. You know, absolutely, absolutely. And then when it was time to go back to work, same thing, whatever you cook for dinner, record it. Make it, turn it into a video. You know, like, like have fun with it. And if you feel like it's a job to you, then it's not for you. If you love every bit of it, then that's for you. If you feel like it's not a job and you're having a total blast, then it, it may be for you. All right, look at this. Come, come, come here, come here, come here. Here's where it gets exciting. Look at that. That's the perfect amount 
of crispiness that I want right there. And these crackers make it nice and buttery and crispy and just gorgeous. And the inside is going to be creamy, dreamy, and delicious. Let's throw this back in the oven just for about 10 minutes, but at about 7 minutes, we'll check it, okay? 7 minutes because we don't want to burn the top, okay? So we'll peek in the oven. If they're not too dark, then we'll just turn around and leave it in for 10 minutes, okay? So let's get this into the oven. All right, back in there. And I'm coming back around. Who is it? Let me see. School. Oh, for your school, okay. I'm coming back around, and we're going to chit-chat. I'm going to save this because later um, I can cover the food with the same foil here, okay? All right, we're moving in the right direction. You put a little bit of parsley flakes on there just to make it nice and beautiful if you want when it's done, you know? Oh, you said, John, I misunderstood. Did he say that he was making him a channel? I thought that's what he said. Okay. I maybe misunderstood. <clears throat> oh, you're speaking into existence for me. Oh. You can see me now. There I am. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Latanya. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us, Annie and everybody. If you have not given me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Back out to give me a thumbs up. Hello, Ver what's your name? Vernetta? Carmen? Okay. Gina, what did you do at the hospital? I didn't catch that. What did you do at the hospital? I didn't catch that. I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're speaking of. <clears throat> oh, 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 for work. <laughs> for work. Okay, I was actually in the kitchen at the hospital. They would always ask me. Look, check this out. They would always ask me, do you want to be a chef for us? You want to cook for the hospital? No. And they would tell me, we'd pay you. they tell me they pay me like $2 extra, right? And I said, no. And they're like, well, how, how come? Like, they couldn't understand. Because if you tell somebody, I'm like, listen, listen, I'm going to pay you some good money if you want to be our chef back here. I told them no. Because that would mean, thank you, Linda, that would mean that I'm cooking for everybody in the hospital. You know, uh, the patients and the family and friends and loved ones and, you know, for the cafeteria. And I, I didn't know if I had that in me, to be honest. I'm so serious. I am so serious. So what I did, I worked in the cold part where um, people, let's just use this for an example. There are people in the hospital that need minced up food, um, or not, not minced up food, that need pureed liquids, pureed or a thickened liquids. I would thicken up liquids, like if they got orange juice, but they had swallowing issues, I would thicken up their orange juice. 
If it was somebody that was diabetic that needed an inshore or a diabetic drink, and let's just say they needed that diabetic drink, but it needed to be thickened up, I would thicken it up. Or uh, if for, for um, I did like puddings, desserts, snacks, and stuff like that. So we did stuff. That's what I did. I worked on what you call the cold side. And then there's a whole hot side where the chefs are over there cooking. Listen, there was big, huge pots as big as, like, listen, listen. You can only imagine how big these pots are. Let's see. These pots are like this. You couldn't even imagine, right? Like big as my body. If I were to lay on the floor, the pots might be that big around my whole body, right? And they were used like a, it almost looked like a boat. Uh, what's the things that you rode a boat with? Like one of those paddles? Um, to, roll your, to roll your boat with? It looked like they would stir the food with that. I knew that I didn't even have the strength to stir that much food in that huge pot like that and lift some of the tools and stuff up that they use. I said, I... I just knew it. I couldn't do it. And the heat over there was absolutely ridiculous. I have never in my life worked in somewhere that was so hot. When you hit the door to the kitchen, you automatically begin to sweat. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, you're sweating in there, and it was the worst thing in my life. I told my husband, I, I loved working there. I did. But I hate it how hot I was daily. Oh, I was so hot and I was miserable. And I said, I know if I go over there to the hot side, I'm not gonna be any good. <laughs> I'm not gonna be any good. I'm gonna be a hot, sweaty mess. It was, so I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it no matter how much extra they was gonna pay me. But they really wanted me because they knew I could cook. You know, They really wanted me over there, but I said, no, no thanks. Mm -mm. And then they had a cafeteria where, uh, you know, family and friends could come in and get, like, a quesadilla, a breakfast sandwich, you know, and you just quickly make it up for them real quick. Um, throw some hash browns on the flat top or whatever. Make an omelet for people, you know, people that's visiting, loved ones and stuff. Or you could just be serving people. I didn't want to do none of that either because it's too hot. So I stayed in the cold side and I had a fun time. And then in the evenings, well, in the afternoon, how did we do it? In the afternoon, I would serve lunch. And when I mean serve it, we would be on like, um, it's like assembly line, putting stuff on people's trays. When you put the stuff on people's trays, you got to read, you got to be able to look down like this, read their tag, read their name, what they're supposed to get off of your tray put it on their tray. Everything that they're supposed to get from you, you have to have it on their tray. If they're that person that needs a thickened up hot cereal or a thickened up grape juice or you know um, a fortified cereal, it was your job to get it, to look down at their tag and get it right. Because when it gets to the end of the assembly line, there's somebody checking the tag to make sure you did what you're supposed to do. It's, it's nuts. So I do that for lunch and for dinner. It could be fun at times and you could um, stand at the assembly line and talk a little bit. But if you're somebody that's talking, you got to be able to look at that tag and know what you're doing. So it, it, it was fun. Yeah, the heat, the heat was no, I can't take the heat. I like to wear makeup. I like to wear makeup. I don't like to be all sweaty. <laughs> And I used to take my hair, so my hair, I would take my hair and it would be braided like this into two ponytails. And then at the end, I would put like, um, like a barrette at the end. And then I wore like a bandana. <laughs> I had my own look at the hospital and people were like, who is this chick coming in here with a bandana on? And it's funny because they were not allowed to wear bandanas. <laughs> and they let me wear a bandana every day. <laughs> they did, they let me get away with wearing a bandana because it wasn't part of their, their outfit. You know, you wear a chef's hat. I did have some, some, some chef hats and stuff that I could put on. 
Uh, and I did sometimes, but most of the time I have a bandana on and two French braids. Oh, did I have to go to the dishwasher area? No, I never did. I never did. I, I didn't, um, you, you do have to wear a hairnet. So what I did, since I wore my hair in French braids, I had the bandana on, so they considered that like a hairnet, and my hair was braided. You see, so I never wore my hair down. If I wore my hair down like this, then I would have had to have a hairnet on. What's going on with his surgery? Um, for now, the surgeon said, let's not do the surgery just yet. They have a specialized thing that, for his finger, and they're hoping that the tendon can mend itself. If the tendon doesn't mend itself after six weeks, they want him to wear it for another six weeks. And then after that, if it doesn't, uh, then we'll talk about surgery. But for now, they want him to wear this brace. That when he puts the brace on, his finger's doing like this, which is great. Now, it got lost. So he has to go to the surgeon. On, um, he has to go back to the surgeon and get another one. Okay? So when I looked at it the other day, it was looking like this. Remember, it was like this, the tip? So now it's like this. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, and I'll keep y'all updated. I don't, I know, Rosa, I don't like the heat. I can't take the heat. I used to be thinking, <laughs> I used to be thinking um, that, is it only me in here that's this hot? <laughs> Like, I, I was just, I was miserable with the heat. And sometimes, I love the heat. Oh, you said this cold weather is not for you. Oh, my goodness. Now, okay, Raymond, this is different. What I'm talking about is heat from the kitchen. It was like a hot steam. It was like we were in a sauna. I love the heat, too. I like the spring. I like the summertime. But I'm talking about hot sauna. It feels like you're in a sauna in that kitchen. It did. Oh, my goodness. Your spirits are a little low today. I think I'll view the video later. Thank you for sharing, Miss Gina. Pray for me. And with me, have a wonderful evening. Your name is Maria Collier. Oh, Maria Collier. Maria. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, I pray that you lift Maria Collier up in praise. I pray that you bless over her life and keep her safe. Please take care of Maria Collier in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, only you know what she's going through. I pray that no weapons formed against her shall prosper. We bind the devil away from her in Jesus Christ's name. Let the devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, thank you for Maria Collander. And we pray that you answer her prayers, Lord. And we're going to thank you ahead of time for answering her prayers. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. Absolutely. Thank you all. Oh, okay, yeah. It's dry heat, but they're in Baltimore. It, oh, you said it does get really hot. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I love the heat. I, I love the summertime because I totally, amen, once again. I totally um, love to imagine that I'm swimming somewhere, <laughs> you know, or I, I, just, I just love the heat. I love to get that vitamin D on my skin, especially in the mornings here when it's hot. We like to go outside, sit on the front porch or the back deck and just really relax and soak in that sun. I love mornings like that. Where's the dogs? It must be my husband coming in because they're, they're barking crazy. Yep, it is. One minute ago, the camera detected. Yep, let me see. Yep. <laughs> He's not in yet, but they can hear him pulling in. 
Miss Collier, we are praying for you. We love you. And listen, just keep the faith. Stay faithful and know, be still and know that God will take care of any of your situations. Okay? Absolutely. So hopefully you're able to, when you're feeling a little bit better, you can come back and just rewatch the replay, okay? All right. Almost time. It's almost time. We're going to be checking our food here in just a second. Yes, we are. Where's the microphone? Okay. How many of y'all are excited for Saturday? Oh, Saad, you sleep with the fan on too? I see. Okay. So I've learned to sleep with the fan. My husband loves the fan on right but i feel like i need to stop sleeping with the fan on with this cough that i got going on so we'll we'll see you know oh excited for saturday let's talk about it so derek eats came up with the bright idea that saturday we are making chicken pot pie gina young style you're gonna love it you hate cold air. Oh, since your stroke. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I have to have the fan on for noise. Okay, huh? Oh, look at you looking like a hot mom. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> look like a sexy mom. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. <laughs> Eula says, I'm ready. Okay, this is great. <laughs> he said, oh, go on with your bad self, Mr. Young. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ron Wilson. <laughs> tell Ron I said what's he going said, on. He said, tell Ron I said what's going on. <laughs> They're all saying hello, Mr. Young. Tell them everybody say hi. Everybody's worried about your finger. I told him. Yeah. I'm about ready to give up on this finger. <laughs> he said he's about ready to give up on that finger. And just let it be messed up. <laughs> he said, just let it be messed up. No, you can't let it be me messed up. Because I need your hands. You just don't like how I look. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want your hands to be messed up. You got nice hands. I had them. <laughs> <laughs> they said, don't give up. See? <laughs> they said, no, don't give up. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, they're all... <laughs> the other day, Mildred said, don't give up. <laughs> the other day, he said, I just, it was really bothering him, right? And he said, I just, I, I'm going to break this thing off. <laughs> I said, no, just wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Okay, they said, please don't give up. <laughs> they did. They did. It's funny because the doctor said, now, you can just let it go if you want to. Isn't that crazy? He said, because a lot of people do just give up. They don't want the surgery. And don't they don't want to go through the process. They right? don't want to go through the process of, yeah. of mending the tendon. Yeah. They let it go, and then they have to live like this forever with the finger that looks like this. I don't want his finger. Look, I don't want his finger to look like this forever. No. Uh -uh. He was trying to touch me with that finger looking like this. He's like, he was like, come here, baby. Let me. I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Right. <laughs> he said, I said, get that ugly finger away from me. I didn't say that, though. He just saying that. <laughs> New to the channel, but heal well. Miss, what's your name? Thank you, Miss Bradley. Welcome in, Miss Bradley. Thank you for coming in and joining us. <laughs> Saj says, I know what you meant. Oh, you do? <laughs> I'm new too, Ver, 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 let me see your name, Vernetta, Vernetta Bats, thank you for coming in and joining us, welcome, we appreciate having you in here, 
guess what? Is it time? Is it time to take the food out? If it's time to take the food out, I'm going to go ahead and pray. We're going to say a quick, simple prayer, and then it's going to be time to eat. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this beautiful meal. Thank you, Lord, for feeding us a meal today, and we pray for all the homeless and starving. I pray, Lord, that they have a meal to eat. I pray that they have shelter in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, I also like to thank and pray for everyone that's in this chat today and that will come into this chat. I pray that you bless over their lives and keep them safe. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. We always bind that devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you have no chance. Heavenly Father, thank you for this great recipe. Thank you for the gift that you have given me to share with this world. May any and everybody that is in and will come into this chat have a great day with God on our side. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get our food out. Let's eat. Let's eat. Now, amen once again. You can decide to let your food sit, but this isn't a recipe where you have to uh, let it sit set up or anything you can just get it right out of the pan and go at it and like raymond said have some crackers on the side maybe some hot sauce enjoy this tuna noodle casserole this this, this recipe is old school it's going to be something your grandma would have made or your parents if they knew how to cook baby did your grandma cook this <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, did your grandma cook this? <laughs> I always ask him, did his grandma make certain foods? It's tuna noodle casserole. Did she make it or, or did you just taste it with me? I think our closest to that was a Popeye. Oh, okay. I'm making Popeyes on Saturday. Okay. Okay, so his grandma made the frozen Popeyes. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, she didn't. He, she made it homemade. Okay, okay. She, she, she made them homemade. Okay. Yeah, it was better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> and it was better than mine. <laughs> Grandmom couldn't cook. Yeah. I just, I'm not acting like that. I'm just, I'm just be wondering because he doesn't really talk about her foods, you know. So I just be wondering, like, what did she cook? Just, just know all her food was better than all yours. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, just know that all her food was better than mine. <laughs> hey, I believe you too. I do. I, I believe you. So she didn't make tuna noodle. So she didn't make tuna noodle casserole? We're going to make a visit to you tonight. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's <laughs> not. <laughs> he, said, he said, I'm going to make her visit me tonight. <laughs> that, that, that's scary. <laughs> Let me flip this camera around. Let me flip this camera around. I love your grandma. You love you too, but she coming to visit. <laughs> oh, he, yeah. they said he'd fight for that grandma. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Uh, got in a million of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get our food out. Rod said she will be at the window tonight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Rod said she will be at the window That's tonight. That's right, Rod. Tell her. <laughs> tell her. Tap it on that window when you think she's sleeping. <laughs> That's what she's going to do. Yeah. Tap on that window. He said she's going to be in there tapping on that window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so right. Here it is. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> that's what you're going to hear. That's what you're going to get. They just, they just said there's nothing like grandma's cooking. I know. All right. All right. I'm going to wash 
washed my hands. We're gonna make a play. Hey, Vanna, let's let's get everybody's laughing. All right, come here, come on in. Look at this. I, you got to see the crispiness. Like when I say come in, I really want you to come all in on this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous. Now, I'm going to really get you excited when I go in like this. When I go in like this, you're going to get to see something, but i got to wash my hands. Are they still laughing? <laughs> they are. <laughs> no, y'all, seriously, I'm just glad I get to carry the name yeah. of his yeah. grandma. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I am yeah. so grateful yeah. to be able to carry her name on, Miss mm -hmm. Young. Yeah, I, I love my, I love my last mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah. You act like her too. Uh, he, he said, "I act like her too." You do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Oh, uh, I do too. I miss my grandma. Yes, it is an honor to be able to have that same last name. All right. I was all big at 11 years old in the bed with my grandmother. Oh. Me out the bed. I love to hear that. Oh, but look up at me. My husband said at 11 years old, he was still sleeping in the bed with his grandma. He said he, he said she had to kick him out the bed. Oh, I love, I love to hear the stories about him and his grandma. And so many different stories he tells me. I just love hearing every story. I really do. They said, oh, <laughs> yes, that is cute. Okay, look at this. Crispy. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, you're going to love this. Watch, watch what happens. Watch what happens. Creamy, dreamy. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Uh-huh. I know. I know. Those of you that like hot sauce, look at that. One little bit of extra crackers on top. Just put the crackers on your plate. That right there. Tuna noodle casserole. If you don't like the tuna, go ahead and use chicken. Boil you some chicken. Use the chicken that comes in the can. Just make it because it's easy, quick, simple. It's delicious and cost effective. How about this recipe? How about this recipe? <clears throat> thank you, Deborah. Deborah, thank you. All right, so I'm coming in. You all are going to. Uh, we're going to sit and chit chat for a little bit. Excuse me. <clears throat> you want me to make you a plate, honey? Take a real little bit. You take a little plate, okay? A real, real little bit. Okay, just a little bit? Yeah. After I work out, I'm going to really kill it. After you work out? Huh? After I work out, I'm going to eat some more. Okay. You want a little bit. Okay. Don't you? You want extra crackers? Oh, 
Oh, he said the dogs will see Miss Young trying to come in. Yeah. That is so scary. That is so, that is not fair. Yeah, it is. So when they get the barking, just know. He said, he said, see, that, that he said, see, when they get the barking, you, you'll know. You'll know that she's in the house. <laughs> you'll know she's in the house. She's in the house. Y'all, that is so scary. <laughs> that is so scary. And his, his mom's ashes. It's right behind you. They gonna both get it. <laughs> it's literally right behind me. He said they're both gonna get me tonight. <laughs> so just know I'm not gonna get any yeah. sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. She watching you right now. Right now. She watching. Just be good, baby. I told him. I told him don't do it. He said just be good, and I'll tell him not to do it. <laughs> Deanna said he's right. <laughs> Deanna, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shout out to grandmoms. I'm so serious. Absolutely. He is. He is. He, he took his tuna noodle casserole, went straight in the basement with those babies. All right. So now, somebody wants to see my plate. Dakota, you got to get that light. You got to wash your hands. Wash your hands and turn that light off of me. Gina, say, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he won crackers. He, he, he. Okay, I want some crackers too. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Take the take the comments off real quick, so you can see. Tuna noodle casserole, old school. Make yourself. And you know what? When I decided, when I decided to make, I, I'm sorry, when I decided to put the cheese in here, that's when I really showed out. Whether you make it with cheese or not, it's going to be delicious. But putting that American cheese in here, listen here. Oh my goodness. I'm not eating a whole lot because it's got carbs in it. It does, thank you. You say me and Mr. Young are funny. We have so much fun together. Look at look at this. Work it off tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit and work it off tonight. That's how I look at it. Let me eat a little bit and work it off tonight. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is such a great easy recipe. Mmm. Yes, you do. Mm, 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 mm. You must try it. I want some more crackers. You must try this. That fresh sweet onion in there is delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's so funny. He always thinks I'm asking him. If his grandma could cook, I, I'm not. I'm just saying that I just be asking him, did she make, what did she, what's the thing she cooked? <laughs> he said apologize. Uh huh? He said apologize. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look what I'm going to do. Mm, mm, mm. Ron, let me see. That is so cute. He said, I slept with my grandma too. She would tell stories till I fall asleep. She kicked me out when arthritis would hit her legs. Oh. So, 
I, um... I, I slept with my grandma when I was a teenager one time. Spent a night over her house, right? And, uh, my grandma said, I don't know what the next morning she told me. She said, I don't know what you was dreaming about. She said, but I wake up and you scratching my head. I said, what do you mean? She said, what it sound like? She said, you were scratching my head. <laughs> she said, I just uh, looked at you. She said, you just had your arm up and you were scratching my head. I was like, what? <laughs> she did. She said, I was scratching her head. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I wonder. If, hold on, I wonder if nowadays there are grandmoms like that in the, in the world anymore. I do. I wonder. Because this is so good, y'all. Because we had the best grandmoms. We did. And like Ron said, my grandma used to talk about stories and everything. And you'll just be wanting to sit there and listen to those stories, you know? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, this would be good at room temperature or even tomorrow. You said you can answer that. What is Sonya talking about? I did too. I love old folks stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I, I'm telling you, Valencia, they did. They had the best stories. I told y'all. What my grandma said about my dad. I told y'all when she decided to take him out of school. Yes, Thomas, absolutely. My tie. But you want that old school grandma, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I asked, is there any grandmas like that now? I did. I, yes, I did, because I just think that the world has changed from what it used to be like, you know? Okay, so what does Raymond say? Let me see. Hmm, mm -mm. Mm. My grandpa didn't go to school, but he knew how to build anything. I miss him. Cancer sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. He knew how to build anything. I know he did. I know he did, and he was good at it, wasn't he? Mm. The world has changed, you know. Mm. My grandma used to wear, um, like, those hard house shoes. Like, I think they were house shoes that you could wear outside. You know, if she was going to the store or to the bank or something. And they didn't look like house shoes, but they were house shoes. She'll take them bad boys off and she'll whoop you with them. <laughs> yes, she would. She'll take them bad boys and whoop you in a second. <laughs> he said those black, he said those black hard shoes. <laughs> I don't know what color they were. <laughs> and 
my grandma wore them house coats. She called them a house coat. But I think, I don't know if people call them moo moos today. But she would call hers house coat. They buttoned all the way down and had the two pockets on each side. <laughs> My grandma had told me a story about I don't, hold on. I don't know whose baby she was watching being born. Somebody's baby. This is my grandma telling the story. So somebody's baby was being born. She was watching the baby be born. And she said, she told the doctor, she said she thinks she was the first one to see the baby get ready to come out. And she said, oh, the baby got a crack in his head. She said, she kept looking and kept looking and there was a crack up the up from this way all the way down the head. And um, she said, as the baby came out even more, then the legs came out. She said, it wasn't no crack in his head. <laughs> she said the baby was coming out butt first. <laughs> my grandma, my grandma told me that story, and I just thought it was so funny. That's what my grandma told the doctor. The, ba the baby got a crack in his head, his whole head. <laughs> the doctor said, my, the, she said the doctor just just looked at my grandma. And then come the legs. And she said, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> My grandma told me that. I wish I knew who she said was having that baby. <laughs> Saj said, I got whipped but the shoe and the switch. Mm -hmm. It is hilarious, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this y'all, this is so good. I am. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. You didn't get to meet any of your grandparents. Okay. KD, welcome. I would have loved to meet them. Oh, wow. Okay. Mmm. I know I can listen to those type of stories all day. Mm-hmm. I can listen to those stories. something. My grandpa, we called him grandpa uh, on my dad's side. He um, would always call me my sister's name. Always. Always. Now, later on in life, he did develop um, Alzheimer's. But Earlier on in his life, when we were little tiny kids, he would always call me my sister's name. And his, so my sister's name is Sugar. He always called me Sugar. And then, um, excuse me, he would act like he was going to knock you out, like punch you right out, right? He would do like this. And then when he got to your face, he will do like this. Like real soft. <laughs> he'd come at you real fast. Boom! Like he'd get ready to knock you out, and then he'd do this. <laughs> and he'd say, hey, Sugar. 
I'm thinking, I'll say, hey, I'll just answer to it. <laughs> like that was my name because I knew that he was calling me my sister's name. you that okay sugar and spice <laughs> hmm y'all this right here I just have to tell you it brings back childhood memories it's delicious, it's so comforting, and it sticks to your bones. It's going to get you full quick. And it's going to feed a nice amount of people. This is a recipe you definitely want to make. Eat it for leftovers the next day. Like, if I look in the pan right now, half of the pan is gone. That Dakota must have took a huge piece. Half of the pan's gone already. Oh, you got to be with your grandma until she passed away in 98. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. If a person puts too much Maggie, Maggie polio in a chicken pot pie filling before it's baked, can it be saved? Um, yes, because you can turn around and put some milk in it to um, take the saltiness away, okay? So if you use too much salt, you can put some milk in it to calm it down from that salt. That, that's a good question. Yo, this recipe is good. So now I want to talk about a great topic. Look, let me chew this up first. So my husband, hold on, let me eat this. Was talking about possibly going uh, camping. Now, the kind of camping where you go put up a tent, the kind of camping <laughs> where you're cooking outside, the kind of camping where I don't know where you're going to use the bathroom at. So I, I have a lot of questions about this. It does sound fun. I don't know if this is going to happen and if it does, when. But uh, what do y'all think about that type of camping? Yeah. Not the kind where y'all see us go in the what you call it. I'm talking about where we going to be in the woods with uh, Smokey the Bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miss Young is scratching at the window behind you. She better not be. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Because I'm thinking, I like, y'all know if we go, we're taking all type of snacks. We're taking food and stuff. How do you keep your food to where the bears and stuff don't smell the food? Because if bears smell food, they will come, right? If bears smell food, they will come. Somebody tell me how to be safe out there. How do you do it? How do you have fun? How do you do it? How do you keep, you know, how do you keep your stuff safe from the bears? And, you know, tell, somebody tell me. Because I, I'm curious. Oh, coolers, okay. 
That type of camping is not for me. <laughs> Don't do any outdoor bugs. That's dog man. <laughs> Hide it. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Don't go, Gina. <laughs> I don't like the woods like that. <laughs> See? Okay, know what animals are around you. Okay, people put the food in a bag and hang it up on the tree branch. After all that food is cooked, seal it up. On the tree branch, bears can open up car doors. See? See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is for me. Bears can open up car doors. See, that's when I get a little scared. You know, I start to worry. <laughs> I start to worry. I, I don't, I, he said, they said the bears can open up the car doors. See, I mean, I need, I, I get rid of all the trash. Bears can climb. Now they're saying bears can climb the trees. Just put a tent up in the backyard. <laughs> Just put a tent up in the backyard. <laughs> we could do that, though. That would be fun, right? <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, he said, I seen bears sneak into people's houses. That's scary. Oh, you've been cooking white chili. <laughs> he said, give me a nice motel or hotel, and I will camp all day. Is that right? Long time ago, when I was younger, do they call, oh, long time ago, when I was young, when I was younger, yes, they did, they called me Woodstock, yep. <laughs> Gina, please don't go. <laughs> he said, please don't go. <laughs> See, because uh, his, <laughs> somebody hit, <clears throat> hold on. What's wrong with this charger? Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> See, a cabin would be nice. You said a cabin would be nice, but not a tent. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's something to think about. It, it is something to think about because can, can things sneak under your, under your tent? Let's see, I went to a campsite that already had tents set up. Oh, is that right? Okay. Now, see, I don't think they already have them set up. And I'm not the person to set a tent up because I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> it's gonna be too many directions. I'm gonna get a headache, get hot, and all that. See, I, uh, uh. You said softball. Let me see. Softball one. Thanks for watching the live. Okay, he said. He said that's my dream vacation, Alaskan to get a ca oh, Alaska to get a cabin. Okay. Softball, what are we doing? Uh, what do you mean, what are we doing? Snakes. Oh, oh, that's scary, Sonya, to think about a snake sneaking under your thing. I don't know if I would get sleep. I, I don't know if I'd be able to get sleep. It may just have to be like the type of cabins that y'all usually see us go to. You know, where the doors can close and the windows are closed. <laughs> Not the kind that you put up in the wilderness. Gina, did you get my question? This is Alan. Alan, can you say it again and hopefully I'll read it? Oh, okay. There are websites where you could check. Let's see. Yes, have a good night, Alyssa. I think that was Alyssa. See you, Alyssa. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Yeah, John said, don't go. <laughs> well, I mean, 
see, here's the thing. If we went somewhere like that, y'all would definitely see videos. I don't, I don't, would it be stressful? Would it be like a stressful, or would it be just totally fun? You know, you're not going to have access to like running water or, or, or do they have like an area where you could take a shower? Or do we take like baby wipes so we can wash up? And like big jugs of water so you can use water. What I, I just have a lot of questions. <laughs> he said it again. Don't go, Gina. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's just the way he's saying it. My holy king quit saying it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the zoo and hold the snake. I bet I won't. Mm -mm. Am I going to make the shamrock shake on Saturday? I'll go ahead and make the shamrock shake on Saturday. Um, along with the uh, chicken pot pie. <laughs> There's no police station in the woods. <laughs> That's funny. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> she said, Raymond, when I see the snakes on the TV, I nearly pass out. <laughs> oh, wait. Wanda is just laughing at my holy king. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got to get that finger right. <laughs> you got to get his finger right before we go. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all going on a Hawaiian vacation? It's beautiful. Oh, is that right? Y'all should go. Okay, so you said y'all should go on a Hawaiian vacation. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay. I bet it is. I bet it is. <laughs> Make sure you become good friends with Yogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> Yogi Bear and Boo Boo. <laughs> I'm going. Okay. Oh, with who? Okay, that's great, Alan. I love that. Oh, Mary said, go to Hawaii. Okay. Mary, how you doing today? Oh, so there's no connection for internet? Raymond said, I'm scared to go on vacation out of the country. Mm. Thank you, Mikkel. Mekel or Mekko Cates. Thank you so much. M. Johnson agrees with Raymond. <laughs> <clears throat> what about Jason might be out there? Oh, that's scary. Oh, you're doing good. Just tired today. I'm doing well, Mary. Thank you for coming in and joining us. It is. It is a lot going on. Mildred is just cracking up. Oh, you said, you said, I want to go camping in the woods. I love the atmosphere. See? See, there's somebody. See, Saj? See? <laughs> You, okay, so T. Smith says you can get some internet because there are tons of YouTubers doing car and van life. Yeah, yeah. Try in the backyard first. <laughs> and guess what? I'll be scared in the backyard. <laughs> and ain't nobody back there. Right, you said try. I'm gonna tell my husband that he is going to laugh so hard. Try in the backyard first, see how you like it. <laughs> I'd be terrified to something would run under that tent. I would be. Guess what we have? Guess what we have out here where we live? Tons. Oh, I'm not gonna say tons. Don't let me just sit here and lie and say tons, cause it's not tons. But we do have uh, frogs. Frogs, you might see them this big. Look how little. You might see them this big. 
or you might see them this big. So if a frog got in the tent, that would be, that would be it. <laughs> that would be it. You'll say, where's Gina? Uh, we ain't seen Gina in a while. It was the frog. <laughs> oh, you said frogs are so cute. They are cute. I turned around in the summertime. I was messing around in the mulch. I may have, I don't know if I was planting flowers. I was doing something. And um, I may have been messing with the lights or something out there. But called a frog. I put it in a plastic cup, a see-through plastic cup. And I brought it to my husband. And he, Because he was like, is that a frog? He was looking at it. <laughs> I know he just wanted me to take it back outside. <laughs> Sonia, what did Sonia say? I'm afraid of frogs. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> Those bears are telling one another, Gina Young is coming. <laughs> We're going to be eating good. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh, because I won't cook. I won't cook. <laughs> I don't know what we going to eat, shakes? We'll make us some shakes or something. <laughs> M. Johnson says, I'm afraid of everything. <laughs> big old, uh, he said big eyeball frogs. <laughs> <laughs> you should get one of those little frogs for your fish tank. Those little ones are cute. I know they are. <laughs> Sonia said frogs and turtles, the snakes, y'all can keep them all. <laughs> she said just keep all of them. <laughs> there was somebody that I was watching. <laughs> And I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they said that a frog had got in their, in their shower. I thought, oh, heck no. And she was going off. She was so scared. And I really, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Because if it was in my shower, I'd be crying. I just thought, oh, no, that's horrible. Take some mosquito repellent. Now, Dakota's allergic to mosquitoes. Although, he has gotten better as he's gotten older. The smaller he was, a, um, a mosquito bite would get this big on him. But as he's gotten older, it's kind of mellowed out a little bit. <clears throat> no, my holy king, don't you dare. He's, he said, oh. <clears throat> watch bear encounters on YouTube, Gina, before you go. <laughs> you had what mopped out? You had your new what mopped out? Do you know how does the bees make honeycombs? I do, and I think it's really interesting a uh, little bit. It, it really is. My only king is laughing. <clears throat> Are you going to church for Easter? I'm going to be watching virtual church, and I, I love it. I love it. Um, you know, since the pandemic has started, I love visiting church online. It's just absolutely amazing. It, it is. There's two churches. I, I, so I watch one church in the morning, and then I watch another one right after uh, that church ends. So I'm catching like the middle of the second church that I watch. But I have a good time on Sundays. I don't, I don't put no makeup on. I don't do anything but relax in the bed, have coffee early in the morning, make a, hopefully have a good breakfast um, on Sundays. And we just relax and don't do a thing on Sundays. But I do enjoy church in the morning, online. <clears throat> so uh, he said he said you're gonna see Jason out there in the woods. No, Derek. No. Fun life. Raymond, thank you for coming in and joining us. I appreciate every time you come in. Thank you. Gina, did you see the commotion where the people was camping and they saw Yogi Bear and Boo Boo and the father climbed up? the tree 
and watched them mess up the benches and walked away. Uh uh, I didn't see it. I don't, at least I don't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, Alan, that would be absolutely amazing. Oh, Ron knows what commercial you're talking about. Okay. Anybody, if you cooked with me, oh, Mary J. Mary J. jumped in. She said, honey, you going to see Bigfoot out there. They're going to see me booking so fast. Look at my legs. My legs going to be going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm running all the way home because y'all know I don't like to drive. I will run. I will. I'll be, I'll be like Forrest. You know how Forrest Gump said, and any time I was going somewhere, I was running. That's going to be me. <laughs> That's going to be me as soon as I see any of, any of it. The frogs, the snakes, the bear. I'm going to be running like this. <laughs> y'all see me. Y'all, you'll see me. <laughs> run, Forrest. They're going to be saying, run, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at him jumps. <laughs> Miss Karen got me running. <laughs> That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see me booking down the street. <laughs> yes, it is, dog man. <laughs> oh, you do. Thank you, Saj. I definitely appreciate that. I got you, Gina, on three devices. Thank you. <laughs> oh Lord, Ron said, never run. They think you're food. So what should I do, Ron? Okay, so get me prepared. What would you do in that situation? Okay, he said, never run now, Gina. What do you do? Prime time, how you doing? Welcome back in. I know you all don't see anybody in here named Prime Time, but I'm speaking to Dion Sanders in here, just came in. Welcome back in. You did miss dinner. Oh, you said stop and scream loud. Oh, okay. Is that right, Ron? Seriously? Thank you for coming back in, Prime Time. Coyotes. Oh, my goodness. We looked at a picture of them. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. They, they can be scary looking. They can be scary looking. Or even a possum. A possum would freak me out. I think possums, I show my possum, I show my possum, I show my husband what a possum looked like last week. And he said that even the babies are ugly. I said, I know. Because we were looking at, um, what are they called? Raccoons, and raccoons are the cutest, right? They look like they got sunglasses around their eyes. The babies, the adults, the raccoons are cute, but they're still scary, right? But I said, what do you think about a possum? He couldn't remember what they looked like. We, we pulled up a picture of a baby possum and it was so scary. I thought, oh, heck no. <laughs> Sonia said the raccoons. <laughs> Ooh, people eat possum grits and gravy. No thanks. Oh, Linda. Linda, Linda. <laughs> Run, Gina. <laughs> Okay, so Linda says, Gina, are you afraid of bats? Uh, I don't know. I'd like to say yes. <laughs> I'm going to say yes on that. that. That would be a yes. Now, I can remember. Oh, no, Linda, you're fine. I can remember, you know, growing up in a house that, don't quote me. But I feel like bats, it would either be squirrels or bats. I don't know. I feel like it was bats. What a bat would get in the attic. Maybe. And I can remember my dad going up to the attic. We had like a hallway where all the bedrooms were. He would go up to the attic with the light. What would he do? I wonder how he got rid of the bat or would he just, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my dad. I feel like there was a bat that would get into the attic from time to time. I'm going to have to ask him, what was that? Was it a bat or a squirrel? 
Oh, Erica said, bats are so scary. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and that just sent chills down my back. <laughs> oh, Derek says, I hate bats. See, rabbit, I have tried them. My grandma made them. And she made some cream corn. I just felt like the rabbit, I think my dad was eating it. It was smothered in gravy, right? I want to say that the rabbit had all kinds of bones. And I didn't like it. Oh, you said, is that what they call chimney sweeps or is that birds? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sonia said, no, ma'am, no, sir. Oh, they was in the roof. <laughs> Ooh, in, in your bedroom. Now, I always wonder. So I feel like if I was to ever see like a mouse outside or a rat outside, I'm going to totally just freak out, basically, right? I'm going to go nuts just knowing that there's a mouse outside, which we know they're out there. But if you were ever to see it, then you can really freak out, right? But I, I always wonder, this is serious, I always wonder, I see squirrels all the time. Why am I not scared of the squirrels? Is it because they don't get in your house? Maybe. Is that the reason why I'm not scared of squirrels? Like, because I can just be looking at them like, oh, look at them playing. You know, look at them go. And they're just all over, like all over. And they don't freak me out. But I know if I were to see a mouse, I, it, it would be done for me. I would just be done. They do. <laughs> Squirrels taste like nuts. <laughs> Squirrels do. That's so funny. <clears throat> Is it right? You said squirrels are good. Oh my goodness. Derek, that was funny, right? Derek is laughing at my holy king. Chickmunks are cute, but they will bite you. Is that right? And Mary, I think, <laughs> have you ever, hold on, Sonia. Sonia, remind me real quick, okay, what you're saying. Because I don't want to forget your message. Chickmunks. So at our last house, there were chickmunks that you would see every once in a while. Cutest thing in the world, right? And I believe we had some that would skip through the front porch. Cutest things ever. I mean, cutest things you ever want to see. But you said they'll bite you? Is it right? <laughs> Let me see what Sonia said. Gina, have you ever eaten any insects? I have not eaten any insects or had an urge to eat any insects. Uh, no. <laughs> look, look at me. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to eat any insects right now. Alvin, <laughs> ooh, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. You do think of that, Karen. Oh, they will bite you if you catch them. Is that right? So Primetime says they were fighting above my bedroom. They're growling and fighting. They are so aggressive. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm starting to itch. <laughs> So now listen, um, th so there was a squirrel in my backyard and there's a tree back there. Y'all not gonna believe me. Y'all not gonna believe me. I didn't, cause my husband, I don't think my husband believed me. <laughs> I don't, but it happened. So if this is the squirrel, this is the front of his face. This is his back, okay? Here's the feet. The squirrel was on the tree. This is the tree. Don't y'all know that squirrel bent back like this and flipped over? And I thought, what the heck? I knew it flipped over because the white of his belly 
he was like this on the tree, right? And then the white of his belly, I could really see it. And I'm thinking, what the heck? I'm watching the squirrel bend, and all of a sudden, he flips over. I thought, okay. <laughs> I was just watching him like, okay. Hey, have fun. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> little bit. <laughs> little bit, you sound like me. Little bit says, I hate mice. I don't want to let no much. She said, A little bit said, I wet my clothes. <laughs> That's how I am when it comes to mice. Uh uh. Uh-uh. I'm going to tell y'all a story one day. Because it's a story. It's a story to be told about some mice. Oh, my goodness. This is a long time ago. Oh, my goodness. But it is a story. Oui. Let's see. Let's see. Zandy says, in yogurt as well. What, what are you saying in yogurt? Yeah, you said they keep mice as pets. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Sonia, you like me. Sonia's afraid. Sonia said, I'm afraid of cats too. See, now, when it comes to cats, there is something scary about a cat's eye. When a cat look at you and they got that pupil that comes down like this, like a straight line, and they look at you, they just look like they want to jump on you and just scratch you. They look like they want to bite you. So I'm not a fan of cats. And when I get around them, my throat and my nose and my chest just start itching so bad. So I think I have some type of allergy to them. Are you afraid of cats too? I think they're sneaky. I do. Now, when it comes to dogs, heck, I don't work. I, I like dogs. You love cats. Ooh. <laughs> you said <laughs> you you know you crazy. <laughs> cats are beautiful and majestic. Who's saying that? Oh, Christopher. He like cats. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mildred just got her a baby kitten that is so cute. It, it's this big. It's this big. It's gray and it is cute. Oh my goodness. Cat's nails. Now, my mom, she had cats. And they, she had the nails took off of the cats. Is that something that people do? Or did they just do that? I don't know. They had the cats, they had the cats nails taken off. Out. They didn't have no nails. So they couldn't scratch anything in their house. They couldn't scratch you. But I tell you what, they could sure bite you. Have you ever heard of that? Declawed? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you, oh, so IK says you aren't supposed to do that, but you can trim the nails. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, that's great to know. You, let's see. Oh, you can't do that anymore. Okay, okay, okay. So at one point in time, you must have been able to. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, listen, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they were declawed. Oh, 
they changed it. Okay, that that's interesting. Now, see, you would think with them being a house cat, what, why do they need their claws? What are the claws used for? Because I don't know anything about cats. What do they need them for if they're a house cat? Oh, you love when they growl. Oh my goodness, that's scary. <laughs> that's so scary. Oh, okay, you said they don't mean to scratch you. Yeah, oh, they need it for protection. But if they're a house cat, why do they need claws? <laughs> My neighbor has a cat, I'm afraid to go outside now. <laughs> Oh, cats will kill unwanted pests. Okay. Okay. So I do understand that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I totally understand that, IK. Thank you for um, clearing that up. Because I, I didn't know. <clears throat> to defend themselves. Okay, to climb up your windows and blinds. <laughs> Who just said that? Mary Jane, because they do, right? They climb up all kinds of stuff. See, I, me personally, look, 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 I just have to step in and say this. I don't know if I would want a cat. Let's, let's just say, let's just say I wasn't allergic to them. Let's just say I wasn't scared of them. I don't want a cat crawling, jumping on my counters. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I don't want cat hair. I don't want a cat. I don't want to walk in and the cat is on top of the refrigerator. Oh no! See that? See that's when I would say, "Oh, see, we didn't went too far." <laughs> Mary Jane says, "I don't like them at all." <laughs> they let's see. They're front ones to catch things and climb. Okay, okay. Oh wait. Oh, see, you got, see, M. Johnson says they have theirs under control. They will jump on your table while you eat. See? See, uh-uh. That's what I, I can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, because with the dog, like when we eat, the dogs will just look at you pitiful like this. They just look at you, and if you don't give them none, you don't give them none. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a cat, like he said, a cat will go jump. Oh, no. You got to go. <laughs> Brandy, thank you. I love you, too. Thank you for coming in and joining us. <laughs> you said the cat's got some hops, yeah? Oh, you said not yours. Yours won't do that. They will dig in your mulch and use the bathroom in your landscape. Oh, my goodness. Now, are you talking about the cats? Oh, you said you have to train them just like you train uh, dogs. Okay. <laughs> Sonia said, I can't with y'all. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't like cats. I just don't. But that we're all different. We don't have to like the same thing, you know. Oh, is that right, dog man? Gina, above. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Cats eat mice. Okay, hold on. Then they kiss or lick you right after. Ooh. Yeah, no thanks. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Derek. <laughs> he said the cat. Oh, no. See, that's too much, Derek. Mm-mm. <laughs> Run. <laughs> if they climb on your table or counter, you can, you can sp spray them. With a water bottle. <laughs> oh man. Mm, mm, mm. And 
No way. Let's see. No way my cat doesn't catch anything. He's inside my apartment with me. He's my best, but his front claws are declawed. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I know he's your best, but, and I totally understand what you say when you say there it's your best bud because these puppies here they bring so much joy we never really understood the joy that people get with their animals the love that people have for animals until we got these puppies here these puppies are like family members they smell better than some people they are so clean. They are so loyal to you. And they are just the best. You know, so I could understand. Although I don't like cats, you know. I don't want anything bad for them or, you know. I do understand the love that they can bring you. Just like my puppies do. Yeah, everybody does not want animals. You are absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is he Heidi? He's a good boy. Okay. <laughs> What's he look like, Heidi? <laughs> she said he's a good boy. <laughs> you sound like me with my dogs. <laughs> she said her cat don't jump on the table or the counter. She says spray him with water. <laughs> That's what Mildred says. <laughs> Yes, it is, Roxanne. I remember, okay. Oh, solid black with gold eyes. Oh, my goodness. I remember, let's see. The mean woman that Gremlins had that cat. Oh, okay. Oh, you got four dogs and they all have their own personality. I know they do. These, these, two, these two puppies here, they have their own personality. They are so funny. They're nothing alike. But they love each other to death. Sleep together, eat together, baths together, everything together. And they have different person, completely different personalities. My bunny is OCD. <laughs> that rings for us to clean his bill, to clean his room. Oh, what? That, let's see. That rings his bell for us to clean his room. Is that right? Cats have unique personalities as well. Is that right? Wow. So, um, my mom used to have two cats. One of them's name was Oreo. I don't remember what, because it was black and white. I don't remember what the other cat's name was. But after my mom's husband passed away, the cats, um, cause they loved him. The cats started, um, having like, I don't know if they were having panic attacks or anxiety because they missed him and they would just, um, like, I don't know if they were crying or howling. It sounded like they were crying or howling and it, it got so bad. And then they would hang their tongue out of their mouth. They were just they was just a mess after he passed away. So my mom had to get rid of the cats because they were, she gave them to someone uh, because they were just a mess after her husband passed away. Yeah, and, and so they probably knew that he passed away. They knew something, you know, once he didn't come back, you know. Yeah, and that's really sad. I think she said, I don't know, I feel like she said, like the cats were doing something, like hanging their tongue out of their mouth and like crying or howling or something and they just wouldn't stop. And she had found out that they were missing him. Yeah. Yeah, that was a sad situation. And then I, and then I heard that she gave the cats away after that because they were just too... It was too much. Yeah. Sad. I brought a dog, then later I got a kitten, but I had to give the cat away because the dog couldn't stand it. 
It made her nervous and bark all the time. Is that right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, you say animals get depressed. They were going through something. Yeah, and I don't know how she found out what they, because it was something about their tongue was hanging out or, or something. They was just a mess after he passed away. You did. You missed my husband laughing and carrying on. Oh, he was laughing. <laughs> we have a good time with him. He's so much fun. Gina, do you know how does the cat hide under the furniture? I know they like to hide under furniture. So, uh, years ago, years ago, I did um, home health care, and I used to take care of people. Uh, you know, go to their homes and help them, give them a bath, get their medicine ready, cook for them, clean for them, do any house chore that needed done, wash clothes, whatever it may be. Well, this lady had cats, and uh, I was scared. And when I tell you I was scared, I was scared. And I let her know how scared I was, <laughs> right, until I finally had to tell them. I went over her house maybe, I don't know, maybe three times. And I told them, I said, I'm too scared. I'm terrified. The cats are looking at me. And I needed to change the cat litter. And I was just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, this too much. As scared as I was, I had to tell him, I can't go to this lady's house anymore. And so I stopped going to her house. You know, I took good care of her like I should, you know, the lady. But when it came to the cats, mm-mm, mm-mm. I said, I can't do this. Oh, you said cats can be spooky. Yes. I Heidi says she got, is it Heidi said her cat is black? Oh, that's so scary. It's, oh, the cats are so scary. I don't know why they scare me so bad. <laughs> don't you dare, Ron. Don't you dare. I don't think I have everything closed up either. Okay, Siamese twins. Oh, my goodness. So, okay, so Saturday, you all are going to want me to make, okay, let me think of what it's called. The shamrock shake. I got I to gotta write the shamrock shake down because I don't want to forget it. So, y'all are wanting the shamrock shake and you're wanting the chicken pot pie. <laughs> no, she ain't, Ron. Oh, dog man, I do believe that. I do believe that. It is the owner that makes the dogs. Now, some dogs can be just totally nuts. I do think. But then I think that pit bulls do get a bad name. I think they get a bad rep. And like you said, I believe it's how they're raised. You know, if the owner wants them to be mean, you know, if they're trained to fight and things like that, then, you know, they can be scary. But I, I believe, like you said, it's the owner. My mother would throw her shoes at my big brother. She didn't play. <laughs> Let's see, you said my mother would throw her shoes at your brother. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You say yes to Shamrock Shake. Okay, so what we're going to do on Saturday, um, it'll be fun. We'll do the chicken pot pie. Get that in the oven, okay? And then while the chicken pot pie cooks up, oh, dog man, I'm going to respond to your comment here in just a second. I'm going to tell you all something that happened when I was younger. Um, while the chicken pot pie cooks in the oven, we'll turn around and make the shamrock shake, okay, for St. Patrick's Day. So if y'all want to wear green for St. Patrick's Day, we can 
celebrate it and just have a good time you know i feel like we have a whole lot of fun on saturdays i really do and i hope y'all are enjoying it listen i want each and every one you want a wolf get out of here uh, my husband bought it it's a kango i think it's a kango uh i don't know where he bought it thank you um what the heck was i about to say um oh what I was gonna say is I enjoy, I really enjoy Saturdays. I feel like we have more time together. You know, we do the live earlier. I feel like everybody's rested up. You know, most of you all, you don't have to work. And uh, more people come into the chat. We just have a good time. And we're gonna have a good time on Saturday too. I want y'all to tell your family and friends and everybody you know about Gina Young. What I'm doing in this kitchen? Tell them. Tell them. So we'll try the shamrock shake, although I have never made any, but we're going to try it. We're going to try to do uh, my recipe, just something that I can, because I have an imagination on how they are made, and we're going to give it a try. Oh, yeah, and like Ron said, y'all can share it on Facebook. Oh, you got chicken pot pie filling made in your freezer. Okay, okay. Yes, T. Smith. Hey, yes. Oh, a cub tiger anyways. Just a baby one, yeah. Oh, thank you, little bit. I'm so glad you're enjoying, you know, Jeannie Young's channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all so much. I'm going to get ready to get off of here, okay? But I ain't getting off without a big old hug, okay? Oh, yeah, you can use chicken breasts. Mm-hmm. Chicken breasts be perfect in it, okay? And, um... The, listen, this recipe is easy peasy. You, let's listen. You know how today's recipe was easy, Ron? Or everybody. I'm talking to everybody. The chicken pot pie is just as easy. And we're going to be putting a pie crust. The type of pie crust that you can roll out. We're going to put it at the bottom. We're going to put it at the top. Listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you. But it's going to be so much fun. You're gonna bake that baby in the oven. You're gonna have a huge pot pie that is just gonna be so delicious, so much fun, easy to make. It's not gonna cost a lot, and we can make the shamrock shakes. Okay, give me a hug, y'all. Bring it, up. bring it on in, bring it on in. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. Give me a hug. Thank y'all for what you do. Thank y'all for supporting my channel watching my channel, messaging me, and just loving me so much. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'm coming back Saturday, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jeannie Young's making chicken pot pies and shamrock shake. Okay? Yes, I love you too, my holy king. Hugs to each and every one of you all. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, have a great rest of your week as well. Zadi, I'll see you. Thank you to the moderators. Thank you all for coming in. Hopefully, we YouTube will get... Oh, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to message one of my uh, YouTube friends that we know. And I'm going to see if they're having an issue with their moderators. Ah, great question, right? That's our great idea. I'm going to do that because I'm curious. Uh, I'll see y'all Saturday, okay? Tomorrow you'll see me upload a video, okay? God bless and good night. See you Saturday. Yes, I'll see you Saturday. We're going to have the time of our lives. Good night. Yes, a pie shell. Deep dish. <laughs>